Hey, Neil, how you doing? And fighting Chasing Mason, how you doing? Hey, Neil, how you doing? Well, we should be up and running. Everybody should be good to go. Um, Rick and Mortis. I'm just going to go over real quick and uh, send out a couple of invites. Hey, buddy. Hey, there's Ty. TJ. What's up? How, how, are you do how are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Yeah. How, how are you been? Uh, I'm, I've been, I've been, same as you, hanging in there, just, you know, doing my thing, working. I, uh, I work today and, um, and I got off at, uh, 2.15 today, so. Oh. Yeah, I I went in at uh seven forty five and got off at two fifteen. So uh, have you been busy there or no? Uh, it wasn't really busy today. So may I be the first to welcome back you back, Paul. You've been missed. Hey, David. Welcome back, Paul. You've been missed. Yeah, well, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, I've kind of missed it, but on the other hand, I haven't been feeling all that well. It comes and goes. I recommend, Paul, that you may want to slow it down for a, a short while, so one a day or something. Yeah, because I th I think rebuild re 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 yourself you do, back up. Yeah, when you do when you do two a day, I think it's overwhelming for you. Well, it, you know what? I, I had a UTI, urinary tract infection. Right. And yeah, that I'm not saying permanently. That and when it gets bad, um, like I had it because they said it was really bad. You start to lose all kinds of. Uh, you be able to understand what's going on, what should be, what shouldn't be. Did you uh you didn't feel any pain from that before you went or anything? No, you don't. No. You don't. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't? You have to pee a lot more and everything. Oh yeah, yeah I was peeing a lot. And it, it would get get some red in the pee. Yep. Oh, okay. But if you've eaten beetroot, you could be panicking over nothing. Yeah. I was gonna say I've had one before, and they do they can get a little painful. Depends on how bad it is. David, I I like the cartoon version of yourself. You look like a like it looks like a like a samurai look like a samurai guy, <laughs> like a ninja or something like a samurai ninja. How about this one for you, Justin? Oh, for <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> hello. It <laughs> does look more like I'm just with lipstick. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a lipstick on. Uh. Oh, yeah, me too, Rigger. Yeah, that shit hurt. <laughs> Tater salad. <laughs> Surprisingly, though, with all the kidney stone issues I had, I didn't get any bladder infections. Uh, what was that, Laura? A snail. Oh, uh, did you crochet that yourself? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Made it for Welsh Rob. Yeah, it's Rob the Snail. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's Rob as a snail? Yeah, it's Rob the Snail. Oh. So did you get did you get some uh some new software? It's actually software I've been using for a while, but that's the web based version. Oh it's, uh, you, got a, you got a new mic you got a new mic going there, it looks like. 
Hey, TJ. Hey, <laughs> what was that? Yeah, go, Lord, Lord, whatever light you have on is like really blowing out your picture. Yeah, Allie. Well, Joe, welcome back. It's like we've never been away. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's funny. That was pretty good. That's my new buddy. <laughs> my new buddy, What's Allie. up, Neil? A uh, little crocodile. Allie Gator. That's pretty dope. What's up, Neil? Freighter chasing rigor. Waypoint. Yeah, we got, we got, well, Bullcat cat and blind Neil. What? What? Hello, new, everybody in the chat. One new person. I've never. I'm, I haven't seen. Freighter. Same thing. Hello, everybody in the chat. Oh. <laughs> hello, everybody in the world. Everybody in the world. Now I don't have to say hello to anyone, even if you join. I've already. Where's done Dominic? It. He'll be here in about fifteen minutes. He needs to check on them girls before he comes on. <laughs> got to chase them down and get their money. Yeah, that's what he does. Hey, you got to get his cut. Well, yeah, he's got the girls out working and he wants his cut. Well, I'm telling you. So Maddie gave me a new bag, which I'm able to fit all three of my drones in. Just a minute, Mia. There you go. Yeah. And Mia's now going. Oh no, you're doing that again. Come on, Daddy. I know she's bugging the hell out of me. Uh, dude, I had a I have a big, huge, beefy backpack. And I was able to fit the air two, the mini two, and the mini one all in it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah nothing like carrying a, a big thing, beefy like, backpack around. All the lug all three of those the the two hard cases and then the that backpack that had my that other backpack that had my uh Avada in there. And now it's like more I got that. Huh. I got a big rolling rolling case that I used to have all my cameras in. It would it would carry three three huh. camera bodies, three lenses, and extra batteries and chargers, everything. And it was a rolling case, and you put everything in there. This is all the cameras I use now. Put everything in there. And put it on an airplane. It's still fitting the overhead luggage, so it was perfect for that. And oh. I'll tell you what, it used to beat the hell out of me. Just I'd be so tired just carrying it around or rolling it either. You know? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta feed me a real quick right back. Okay. Yeah, yesterday it was uh Maddie's birthday. So uh, me and um and Eric from uh Go Ghost F P V we went uh went flying it. Pretty awesome. It's pretty good though. You go to his birthday party and you get a gift. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like it was, it was just, it was just the three of us. I was, I, I don't like, I didn't really like, I was gonna stop along the way while I was heading my way down there to get him something, but I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, what should I get the kid for his birthday? Should have grabbed, gra I should have stopped and got him some cupcakes. <laughs> what's up, Tim? Waypoint, what's going on? And Neil, yeah, how are you? I tell you, I've been Happy taking Saint fluid Patrick. pills. Yeah, same to everybody. So you got some green on. You got a green band around your head. Yeah, there you go. and I have I have green socks on too. Yeah, my underwear is green. So yeah, my mine is too. <laughs> Honestly, I could care less about St. Patrick's Day. It's just another day to me. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm right there with you. That's what yeah, I got. I don't really that, give a crap. That's Alley St. Patty. Oh, um, Matt, Maddie, Maddie gave me, gave me this. Uh, he he didn't wear it anymore, so I was, he's like, "Here, you could have it." I was like, "Oh, all right, cool, thank you." <laughs> PJ, you're gonna end up getting jumped by a gang one day wearing bandanas like that, bro. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even joking, dude. You're gonna walk in the wrong hood. They're gonna be like, "Where you from?" <laughs> yeah, I wear them all the time. I'm from everywheresville. <laughs> I've got different colors for different games when I go do the football yeah, because it's always I like sweaty. It. I wear them. Most of the time, mine's got an American flag on it, though. Yeah. But if it's like if it's like breast cancer awareness, I'll do a pink one. Oh, yeah. I'll wear, I'll wear the pink band on my watch, you know, like this. I've got the uh, 
I, I used to have the black socks that came up with the pink on them. I don't wear those anymore. Oh uh, yeah. But, well, hey, you could always I, take a funny. you could always take a uh, a red shirt and wash it with a bunch of white shirts and make it pink. <laughs> nah, I just buy a pink one. Uh, Easier. I almost, almost bought, if I could have found the shirt, like a tactical shirt I, that was pink. I bet you are, I would have bought one and had all my stuff put on it. Neil says he's smoking a lot of green close enough. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, powdered donut. Mmm, yum, yum. I stay away from those. <laughs> I go to the dollar store. They got the I bag like the, of them. I like the jelly-filled one. The jelly-filled powdered donuts, those are good. Yeah, those are good. Now. I, I, I try to stay away from the main donut shops, but every once in a while I'll be at the dollar store and they'll have the, they'll have the donuts. Donuts is sugar donuts and jelly donuts yeah. is down. Yeah. You, you know what I want to try is that... Uh, the the dun what is it the Dunkin Munchkin skewer thing? You know it's really good. Have you ever had yeah. the uh, talking about the bags of donuts? Have you ever had the salted caramel ones? Uh, I don't think I so. Made them. by Hostess. Oh, those are oh, good. If no, they, I sure. think they come around around Christmas time, but they're salted caramel, and they come in the Hostess bag, the white bag, just like you're talking about. Laura. Yeah. And they kind of look like a donut crumb donut, breaks. and they're very good. They, yeah, they taste like oh, a crumb donut, that? but they're salted caramel. Salted caramel That's probably donuts. Good. The everyday donut from Greg's. Yeah. Woo. But I can sit here and eat the whole freaking bag of them. That's why I don't even buy them anymore. Jam donuts, apple donuts, custard donuts, banana donuts, you name it. But if I had a choice, there's two of them I would eat all the time. Bavarian cream. I like that. Mm. And then the, the jelly powdered ones, like you were talking about. Bavarian cream's all right. Not my favorite, but they're okay. That's Paul's favorite, Bavarian cream. Boston cream. Boston cream type. Yeah, he likes the Boston creams. That's the ones he gets from Boston uh, creams are my fave. Yeah, those are pretty good. The Boston creams. Yeah, like he gets those. those from Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons Boston creams. You butt into it and all that cream comes out like oh wait no never TJ mind. stop with that <laughs> that clip that clip that fast <laughs> that's why I said oh wait never mind that's the game I found it it's like the cream just running down your chin <laughs> Don, Dad, Don just came on with a big uh, smile <laughs> that's funny what's up Rob hey TJ you I right, bud yeah man yourself yeah, just bugged up with a cold. Where's your Where's your green at? My what? You're green. You're not wearing any green. It's St. Patrick's Day. He's oh, wild. stuffy Irish. They don't like the Irish in Wales. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's, they're, they're the Welsh, that, not the Irish. That's not even a That's not even a uh, holiday over there, is it? No. St. Patrick's Day. Nope. Uh. Nor is um. No, I did that with. The Welsh do get on well with the Irish. Everyone gets on well with the Irish. Bear claw, those are pretty good too. I like them things. No, you know what's really good is uh, shit. What are they called? Uh, eclairs. Oh yeah, those are good. I like them things. My uncle, when he owned his. Uh, chain of donut shops up in Ventura in California. He used to make eclairs that were like this fucking big. Oh, the dude. big ones. Oh, yeah. Big yeah. ass ones, and they were so good. The cream horns are they used to be. My weakness. Yeah, I thought he was going. Oh, oh, you ever got the uh yeah, they're they're uh they sell them at Walmart and they come in the frozen section, you let them fall out and they're mm -hmm. the little balls and they got uh whipped cream in them. Really good. No, I haven't I haven't seen those but you and, get they the have fresh, the, and they got the mini eclair ones too. You get you get the fresh made cream horns though. That were, were the pastry with the cream filling. Yeah, those but are good. Rolls, just Flaky like, and mm. well, that's what we call them over here. 
So, so Don, you, you get you getting your uh, you getting that dune buggy ready for the South Part of Joan meetup? No, he's <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, he's going to go see the eclipse. Well, Don, Don, he, Don, TJ's been telling everybody you're bringing that to the South Florida heat so that he could drive it. Yeah, that's yeah. the only reason. Well, I he's going to be standing there on the side of the fucking road for a long time, then. <laughs> the only way, the only way to get down there would be get a uh, trailer and haul it. Trailer, there you go. Hey, you know, Don, why I'm going to drive it? If you if you trailer it down there, TJ will pay for the trailer. <laughs> take, right, I'll take, TJ. I'll, I'll take a couple of Benjamins out of my my account and uh, and pay for it. Well, it's more than uh, a couple of Benjamins. <laughs> it's not ready to drive just yet. Yeah, there ain't no seats oh, in it. There's yeah. no seats there's out. No in it quite yet. I, I got carpet on the way, and today. Oh, you job, are putting carpet in it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put carpet in it, uh, back in it. But I'm going to clean up the tunnel. Where they've got some coating and stuff on it that is really kind of crappy. So I'm going to do some cleanup on that. Where the rust is, I'm going to clean up a little bit of rust and do some POR on it, which seals in and uh, stops the rust where it's at. Now, are they uh, they cutting it to to the specifications, or are you cutting it yourself? I'll cut it myself. We just we just ordered a couple yards. What's up, Mark? Good evening, gents. Hey, Mark. Mark, Mark turn on a your roll. TV down a little bit. If I that's have done. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Who streams it one day? What's that? I oh, know, it's terrible, isn't it? Oh, Laura <laughs> took Mark's um, online panel virginity this afternoon, and now he's addicted. Yeah, a bit like Donald. Uh, not Donald. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to lie. That new gas tank looks nice in there. It's all cleaned up in the front, too. Looks good. Yeah, it does. Now, does that the where you fill up the gas tank is that that doesn't stick above the hood, does it? It almost looks like it's higher than a fender. Or is there a hole in your hood? Go ahead, go back. It's just that. Yes, like, there there is a hole in the hood, and this sticks above it. So. Okay. I was going to say, because other than that angle, it looked like it was higher. Yeah, it's supposed to actually set down just a little bit in here. Let me see if I can get down here. You can see see where that lip is? Yeah. In there? It's supposed to set down in there a little bit, so I'm going to have to come in here and bend up the corners slightly to get it to set down into the recess where it's supposed to set. Oh, okay. Are you talking about like the engine or what? Do what? What 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 are you what are you talking about? That where the engine is or what? No, the gas tank. Oh, no, it's a Volkswagen, TJ. The engine's in the back. Uh, is Donald trying to look cool? He's got a front. Safety front. glasses. I was grinding. <laughs> oh, what was you grinding? What's that? Yeah, Using I, don't, grinder. I don't need glasses <laughs> to make me look cool. <laughs> Did you hear what oh. Mark said? No, what he saying? Hurry up. Let's go. Plastic surgeon might work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what's back? Oh. Yeah, you got. He flipped them off. DJ, there's a short in the chat for you to go and watch. Oh, well, let's click it. Why are your comments disabled? Oh, not again. <laughs> At least you told me. I'll be right back, guys. Me and went outside. She would shake and then wolfed it down and wanted to go potty. So. Mm. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, he comes oh, back and leaves us to it. Oh, Classic Murray. I'll be back <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> 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 right, the comments now should be on. Here, is that down?
I'm waiting for Justin to go right on there, like saying, like, do better. Well, I, you know, I already watched it, so going back now and rewatching it, I don't know. Just do it. <laughs> Don, yeah. wouldn't it be feasible to change that to a flip front? Laura, is that cotton candy, or is that just like packet stuffing, packing, or whatever? Stuffing. Oh, it's stuffing. Oh, it looks like cotton candy. No, it's what I use to stuff little Rob the snail. Oh. Uh... <laughs> feasible to change it to a what? Rob the snail. Like trunk. <laughs> He's not listening anyways. To change up here in front to a trunk? Later, yeah. Riker. Well, no, just to make it so that the whole of the front end flipped up like a bonnet. Like a hood. Uh, no, that probably wouldn't work. Uh, the hood, the way it comes down, does not have clearance underneath these lights. That's why I've got this one loose. So No, I mean the whole have you ever seen a Triumph Herald? The okay. Whole, the whole of the front end. Come on, me. The bonnet, no, the whole the front. Wind. The whole front. The yeah, whole that front. would be uh, yeah. cutting up a bunch of fiberglass. And No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it possible to do something? Yes, it's always possible to do something. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dom? Hello. I like how you can post a short with the word ass. Laura, I like how you can post a short with the word asshole in it, but when I try to call you an asshole in the comments, it won't let it go. <laughs> Dominic. Yes. May I introduce to you to your new competitor on the panels, Mr. Mark R. White. Mark, yeah, I, I thought I heard you on Laura's earlier. Yes, I was. Oh, great. Great to have you here. He went on the Tame show first. <laughs> yeah, just to try it out. Make sure yeah, sure. yeah, because uh, Laura finished probably three minutes before I, I woke up. Woke up, didn't see any uh, link, and I went, oh, what's going on? Then I went back and watched it. Yeah, I watched about the last five or ten minutes. And then just scrolled through a little bit on the way when I was driving, you know, driving my brother's work. So, yeah, so great to have you, Mark. Good, nice, nice to, to hear you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice to. When, nice when, to Laura, when Laura finished, Don, uh, David started. Mm. No, no, no and then, no, Laura, yeah, Laura started, but by the time she finished, it was 6.30 a.m. here. Which is four thirty your time. So, Sorry, five thirty your time. Yeah. Yeah, but then David went on till about seven. No. Yeah. No, I was on four till seven. Yeah. David was on before Laura. Oh, was it the other yeah. way around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah David. Right. Yeah, they swapped David around. First David, on Laura. David was on first because I was on there for an hour, and that was one a.m. my time. Yeah. So I went to sleep. Got five and a half hours sleep, got up at 6.30, thinking that Laura would be on. <laughs> uh, okay. Could have had a lie-in, couldn't you? Yeah, could have. But now I got I got some stuff done. At late. Oh, wrong button. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of the background. <laughs> uh, hit the wrong button. But I can do it upside down because I am in Australia, so... Uh. Donald, if you really want to get it, get that off of there, put some gasoline on it and then grind it. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> yeah, get it all quick. <laughs> hey, so, okay. I'll just, it'll just go and get some. <laughs> yeah, then you wouldn't have to worry about the fiberglass. Exactly. You wouldn't have to worry about what the whole grass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you grinding out there? It looks like he's making a hole in it. Yeah, it's just a bit grinding. What it looks like. Looks like he's got a hole or something. Yeah. Mia, get over here. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Mia. Let's Mia, go. Mia, Come on. Mia's not listening. What's about Hello it? to everybody in the chat that I've missed. All right. This is an access tube to run a cable back through the uh, main okay. tunnel. Orange. That, 
was I think it was for a heater, Lauren, you're next. maybe a heater cable on original oh, buggy. More there. But when they put this together, they basically cut it off here and they just had thrown a bunch of uh, somebody had just welded a big glob of gunk on it. Uh, okay. And so the big chunk of metal just sticking out here. And since I'm cleaning this up a little bit to put carpet on it, I figured go ahead and take that lump off and so clean that up. Might as well just get mm. an angle grinder and just so clean that whole thing up real quick. Yeah, I don't want to get that dream. This is this is pretty much it. This is pretty good right now because this is also going to have some padding right underneath this. So that's going to blend in pretty good there. Uh, Karashio, what's up? Warren. Warren. Experts on um, what you're doing. Do what? They're all now experts on what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're all experts. Okay. Yeah. So if you have good I ideas, tell me. I'm listening. I got I got ears on. You know what I recommend? An engine, four wheels, and a steering wheel. Get going. Yeah, exactly. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. See you there. there. Point A to point B. I'm kind of. Well, damn it, David. Right now, I've got an engine and I've got four wheels, but I don't have a steering wheel or a gas tank hooked up. Okay. Well, steering wheel and gas tank. That'll all come with time, I guess. That'll all come like, with time. Boy, Mia's turning into a stubborn old female. She wants to do what she wants to do. Just Who like her. Like the who took care of her while you were gone? I was gonna say, you well, well met. My upstairs tenant took care of her and did a great job, but his kids were down here and tore my house up, screwed up my cable TV, screwed up everything. So oh. now I gotta have the cable company come tomorrow and sort things everything out. Oh god. What and were, so what, what I what were they he's he's kind of touchy and I said, you know, we're gonna have to kind of get back to a tenant landlord relationship. And so he says, okay, we're not friends anymore. And he stomped out and he hasn't talked to me since. Oh shit. Oh, In that case, send well, me notice. Wait, but he only had he only has he only has the one kid, right? Or does he have two? Five. Oh goodness. What were they messing with the cables and everything for? Hey, they were down here sitting in my couch with a big screen TV, hooking up their Xboxes and all kinds of shit. Oh Lord! And now the big screen TV. When I turn it on, it only goes to uh, Ebony TV. Oh Lord! <laughs> don't they don't they have a TV of their own upstairs? Oh yeah, but the, the, my my house is so big, and and they were sleeping on my couch, and you know, just just a mess. Oh Lord. Anyway, yeah, yeah. that's taking advantage of that. Damn. Yeah, all they had to do is come down and let the dog out every couple of hours. <clears throat> and feed her. Sure she, yeah, make sure she has food and water. Yeah, but don't forget, you get free electric and both. Well, you know, the, the thing of it is, is I, I didn't get too mad about it simply because kids will be kids and kids don't, kids don't today have boundaries like we did when we were kids. Yeah. That's true. Because you guys didn't have Xboxes back then to plug into the TV. That's <laughs> uh, but we had moms with backhands. That's it. And and dads with a paddle, you know? With a, with a belt. Yeah. You're still, Actually, and, and you're you're all with my mom with a belt. Yeah, you're, you're all still the back of my belt in a minute. And you're all still a bunch of assholes, so I don't know what helped. <laughs> We're not assholes. We're just telling you. Shout it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. These damn kids playing Pong. <laughs> damn kids in their MTV. <laughs> damn kids in their MTV. <laughs> music, playing their damn music. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and they, had, they left every light out in the house 24 hours a day. Yeah. Lynn was checking it. And every every light was on. All the computers were on. R running that damn electricity bill up, eh? Yep. If, don't get me wrong. I was glad that they were there for the for it, but mm. 
there was a there, there was, was a cost. Mm. cost. Um, okay, I'm back. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Watch, watching porn, watching everything else. David, your 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 uh, microphone is very very low. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. I was gonna say something. It's but... fine. Just had it moved away. But oh. anyway, Paul, you know what I'm gonna say? What? Make this be a lesson to you. Take your medication. Look after your health. Be good. Hey, I am for goodness' sake. <laughs> yeah, be good for goodness' sake. Yep. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so, Mark, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, Paul. Good. I'm glad to see that you're obviously feeling much better. I am better. You know, I only had one little episode yesterday oh. where I tripped and fell in the living room, couldn't get up, and the, the ambulance had to come and get me off the floor. Oh, for fuck's sake, is he using a screwdriver as a scraper? Yeah. Yeah. You need a big guy. How'd you know what I was doing? It is an old screwdriver that has has a busted tip, so don't oh, worry. Okay, okay, okay. It's it already a busted screwdriver. <laughs> and, and, and the the so sad part of it is, is Justin. The sad part of it is is it's a busted screwdriver for because he's been doing that with it. Yeah, that's exactly no, right. it's not. Uh, that 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 end got twisted off. I can't remember what I was. <laughs> Well, use it I think like it's my son's car. Hey, does Craster does Chris still do those warranties where he can take it in? No, take no, it that that was, your old screwdriver and be like, that yeah. was it, Sears. Yeah, but that the the, probably came off using the it. The the right now, yeah, but Craftsman's still a brand. I think it's run by isn't it Ace Hardware? Home Depot's got it now. Actually, Craftsman's are pretty good. What you do is, well, you can see how that's chipped there, right? On on. Well, actually, you can take a grinder. You can actually. You could, oh, you no. could, you could fix. Yeah. Is it a laptop? Yeah. yeah, you can. You can take it, and you can. You can just. You can just rub it a little bit, and and it'll fix it. It'll be fine. That's a craftsman. Oh, for fuck's sake! Michael Don's working on his. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's a that's a left-handed one. They don't make that one anymore. Go ahead, Is Mark. You got You got to jump in when you can, Mark. Oh yeah, I've noticed that. I'm left. I'm sorry, Mark, but your time's up. <laughs> I'm actually going to drop off. I've got a few things I need to do. Hey, Laura, yeah. thanks for oh, thanks oh, for everything. Bye. 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 Later, Bye. Laura. Well, that was underwhelming. Bye. Underwhelming. <laughs> she'll, she'll be in here in a minute, giving you grief. Don't worry about it. That's that's the way she talks to Rob all the time, isn't it, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that's all the good things. <laughs> Worse than that, he talks to Rob. Ugh. Here, would you, Justin? Will this make you happy? There you go. Oh, Actually, you can get way more. Do a lot bigger area with that too. Yeah. Hey, Justin, I figured out my clips for the car. Uh -huh. Printed these up, right? Don't forget the hair dryer. Then I put double sided Velcro on it. So I was just that actually looks like that actually looks like one you'd buy at the store. Looks like a coat yeah. hanger. Yeah, I made them. But what they do is they'll just uh, well I'll put it on the back of the tailgate where it won't mess with the tailgate or anything, and find out where I could put it where it'd be on the inside. Okay. That way it'll just hang when the tailgate's up. It'll just hang down, and it's on Velcro, so I don't have to leave them there. I can take them off and throw them in the side thing. Hey Justin, do you, I, I noticed how much better that works for Don than messing with that screwdriver? Oh, it covers a bigger area. It does not actually cover a bigger area because this is a curve, and I'm only touching about that much of the chisel. Yeah, but that one, but that one has to be curve. easier to handle. Eh. I had the other one close to hand, so I don't care. <laughs> but that Don's favorite song is "I Did It My Way," you know. <laughs> well, in Don's defense, not that he needs any. Oh, however, you can tell the people that use their tools because we don't give a shit. We'll just use it for whatever we. Fine, doing. If it's a screwdriver, it'll do. If it's a hammer, it'll do. Doesn't matter. 
Right? No, you get the proper you tool guys, to do it. You guys that don't do, use your tools, you know, just sit on your computers all day. Okay, David, don't 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 speak for me because I, I do not usually do that. But in this <laughs> case, a screwdriver works just as good as a chisel. No, An exactly. Old proper tools is, for the proper job. I'm saying that right, the there is no proper the job, job then. Well, a chisel isn't the right tool for that job either. Correct, but it was nearest. It was the second nearest thing. No, it's not, but it's going to be functional because I just have to smooth off a few of these lumps because this is all going to be covered up with a foam pad anyway. Oh, you're putting a foam pad on? Yeah, there will be a foam pad over the entire center uh, tube, and then and the what? carpet will come up and over the over the. Up and then over there the will tube. be a pad here. What are those lumps? I don't know what it is that they covered this thing in. It, it it's probably feels asbestos. Like, it feels like bed liner, but it's not holding like bed liner. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's, on the light. it's just something they painted on, some rubberized. That's probably uh, what was holding some, the carpet. Something like um, under seal. Yeah. Watch it be the Bondo he's fucking ripping off there. The center tube is actually pretty good and uh, solid all the way down. I'm surprised how solid it is, but uh, he's just scraping off that 1960s asbestos. Now, what kind of carpet <laughs> you have going in there? Yeah, some, some, uh, some <laughs> outdoor, right? Yeah, it's it's just some black indoor outdoor. I was going to go with marine, but it was rubber backed. Yeah, and black would talked, look good in there. And we talked about it, and it's like, you know, if it's rubberized on the back. If any moisture gets down there, it won't wick out. It won't. Yeah, it won't. And so, can go with something that will breathe. So, it kind of looks like a, is it kind of like a floor mat look to it? A black floor mat? Yeah, kind of. Short, very short. Yeah. yeah. That'll look good in there, though, because that's your Maybe that. color scheme. But before scheme, that, black black, I'm going to rough white. up all the rust areas real good, and then we're going to do the POR paint over it first, and then we'll do that. So, And then these, oh. i got to figure out how I want to anchor these. Looks like Tim's both Tim's teams lost. Yeah, I, I was yeah. one and one for the weekend. I had one win and one loss. My base. I'll so, stop picking crappy teams, Tim. Should have won with the Hawks. <laughs> we lost about Liverpool. Don't mention the yeah. don't mention the Liverpool score. <laughs> Blackpool? Liverpool. No, Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Okay. Yeah. Like, you gotta be careful about attacking Blackpool because David will get mad. <laughs> if you really, really, really want to uh, know what team Dominic supports, it's Everton. Everton? Yeah. <laughs> every, time he mentions, every time he mentions Liverpool or we mention Liverpool, <clears throat> you shout, go Blues, go Everton. Yeah. And then and Donald right, will show to... it, And then Dominic will show his full Liverpool colours by going bright red in anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm wearing my my AFL club. Uh, my, uh -huh. my horse. Back to back. Yeah, the day win? No, they lost. Oh. I wonder if a <laughs> sander would do good on that floor. No, they, they lost to our bitter rivals. Like a hand sander. Well, actually, yeah. he doesn't need Make it. Off. He doesn't uh, need no. it really smooth. No, I don't need it really smooth. And if I really want it smooth, I would be getting a wire wheel on here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Yeah, a wire wheel would would probably flick this stuff off real well. Oh yeah, it looks I, more, that show would be looking shiny again. <clears throat> looks but, more like a, a bitumen based under seal. But like I like I said, I don't need it that smooth. I'm just knocking off the big lumps where they just did a crappy job of it. My entire philosophy on this thing is I don't have to make it perfect. I just have to make it better than it was. Like I said, the guy in 20 years will be doing the same thing 
when he gets his hands on it. <laughs> yep, it'll give him something to do, won't it? <laughs> all, you ne- all you need to do is make it so you can go down to the local shops to buy something. He'll be like, I can't believe this guy put this crappy black carpet in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't, can't believe he used a screwdriver to, oh. a screwdriver to scrape it. <laughs> yeah, the black carpet will be able to come back up. I'm, I'm going to just put Velcro tabs along to hold the carpet down. Because I want it to be able to come back up in case I have to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. You you you're not you you're using black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. No. So- Push yeah, yellow, and black. yellow and black. I don't like those colors. You know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> what what? Dominic explained why you don't like black and yellow colors because uh, there's, 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 a, there's an AFL team in Australia called Richmond, and they are uh, go Richmond. A, they're a bit of a joke. Tim might understand it. Yeah. Yellow and black. I don't like those colors. Did Tim go to work today? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I saw he made a comment earlier that he didn't feel like working today. Yeah, he was throwing up last night, but yeah, he said he couldn't call in today. So that's great. Um, you're not on your own, Dominic. Tim says both his teams lost as well. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. Well, if you extend that. Yeah, I've, I've probably got five or six different teams as well. If you extend that, our Australian basketball, uh, my team uh, has won game one of the best of five seasons. So, so that's a good. Yeah, I'd say Tim agrees with me. Richmond sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I'm trying to think. There's at least three sports going on at the moment here. Uh, and of course the overseas sports, but ju- just concentrating on the Australian sports at the moment. Yeah, our... spoken like a true Liverpool supporter. Yeah, we're just concentrating on the cricket at the moment. <clears throat> Fuck the football. Michael Don is tidying up the interior of his Volkswagen based dune buggy. Hey. My team won yesterday. So I can throw a few digs in. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, but don't worry, next week when we get beat, I'll be quiet. Yeah. Oh, it won't be next week. We don't play. Week after. Hmm. That'll be the uh, Easter round. Yeah. Well, next week it's the internationals. Oh, okay. England versus Brazil. Oh, okay. All right, Dodie. Yeah, I noticed Russia are playing Pulling Bosnia, no, Serbia and Ukraine are playing Bosnia. No, that'll be fun. There you go, TJ. Uh, <laughs> and here comes your copyright strike. Yeah. Wasn't long enough. Black and yellow, black and yellow. You know, it was last night I was talking to my wife, and that's the first time I associated that song with this buggy. <laughs> you actually know that song? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I didn't. You don't seem like somebody that would listen uh, to, to rap. Okay, I guess yeah, that's that, what you that get for a, judging me. A rapper. I'm not judging well, you. I just he has well, stated that he's into a, a a fairly wide and diverse range of music. Damn right. He has, a, he has a very eclectic taste. I haven't just said it. I've demonstrated it. Mm. Uh, he's like he's like the dude off of Office Space listening to rap in his car. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's funny. 
Uh, and then he starts listening to Michael Bolton. Well, back in the Michael day, Bolton. I bet Don was a hell of a uh, a break dancer too, on doing the spins and stuff. Yeah, because the Go character's on. name in Alpha Space is Michael Bolton. You have to make it catch on, Jim. <laughs> oh, I totally rocked that song, driving the buggy down the road. No, You'd have to fit air ride suspension and drop it down to the floor. I've just opened my Easter egg to eat the Ka the Kit Kat chunky, and <laughs> Laura suddenly came barging in eat like it it's mine. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Laura. What's up, Jody? Jody was Jody. asking how you're doing, Paul. Well, put it this way: I'm doing, Jody. Thanks oh, for asking. Yeah, I don't have a yeah. Kit Kat Chunky anymore. You, you couldn't wait two right? weeks. We've been eating these since Christmas. <laughs> I got time to take my medicine. To, uh, 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 uh. Those are good. I, I love those things. Those things are so damn good. I don't I got, you agree I got three off. bags of them. I what just you hope you're drinking time? some more water than soda, Paul, with your medicine. Well, I started drinking water, but water doesn't taste good, so I, I, I'm I, said, I can't believe the world's full of 70% of this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a huge water drinker either. Well, Paul, well, yeah, water, water's, some cordial. The most, water's the most healthiest thing for you. No cordial. Okay, okay, okay Dr. Cordial, TJ. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I drink loads of water, usually flavored. I drink about ninety five percent of the time. Yeah, it's got to be the flavored only, with something. The only thing yeah, that sucks tea, about Easter is peeps. <laughs> I bought I bought two twelve packs of this. Have any of you drank that? Yeah, I've yeah. had it dry before. Yeah, it's so terrible. I'm putting it out in the trash tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a I'm with TJ on this one. Water's good for you. Drink it. Not like water. <laughs> I like dry ginger ale. I like dry ginger I, ale. I, I like ginger ale, but not the, the zero. That shit's to grow. Yeah, the, the zero one is bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've had it before. It's and I, I like I like dry ginger ale or tonic water. Paul, get your own back. Give it the kids. Oh, tonic water. Oh. Yeah. It's got a, oh, it's yeah. Got a I love it. Like a LaCroix? Heck, I'll just. I used to when I worked at a uh, uh, fast food place go up to the uh, uh, drink fountain, lift the thing yeah. up, and just put out just plain soda water instead of no syrup, just plain soda water and drink Ew, that. Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this one tonic. Uh, yeah. You used to drink tonic. soda water plain? Yeah. yeah, it's not. That explains a lot. Get around it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just like uh, it, that's like those. Um, the uh the the what the soda sh the soda stream like you just um, yeah the, yeah just yeah. like the soda stream carbonated water yeah yeah just carbonated water very tasty get it, very good get food. around it get around it, it. it's good because stuff. because a lot of times I'm just craving the bubbles I'm not and yeah. I don't need the sugar to go along with it or the caffeine yeah as I said get Although around I don't it. I don't mind the caffeine but there's, the there's sugar no, is what really bothers me. Yeah, there's no caffeine in tonic water, so. Yeah, I don't mind the caffeine, but all that extra sugar, I don't need. So. The microwave. Dominic, tonic water is full of quinine. You'll never catch malaria. That's why I'm doing it, yeah. <laughs> yeah? That soda stream's awesome. I have one. Hold on, hold on. What does yeah. tonic water have to do with malaria? Never heard quinine. of it. Quinine. Quinine is, yeah, quinine it's, it's a quinine. Oh, one person. <laughs> It's a, it's it's good for uh, respiratory illnesses as well. Okay. Not soda water, tonic water. <laughs> tonic it's water, the quinine, quinine. quinine. Whatever, however you pronounce it. Quinine. Yeah, quinine, yeah, quinine, quinine. whatever. It's, but yeah, it's a treatment for malaria. Yes. Yeah, okay. Didn't know that. Tim, Tim, Tim made nasty faces when he puts he puts in their tonic water. Uh, uh, barf emoji. <laughs> I love it. I love this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Of course, you yeah, like. I'll be you, a kiss ass, you, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do like Vegemite. 
Drag your mind by the spoonful, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got you. Many, many. Uh, so, somebody's got somebody's got something. I heard Laura say, "Drop it, drop it." <laughs> Is it David? No, probably. Boy. <laughs> drop it, David. Drop it. Drop it. Uh, one drop of the birds have broken a toy. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to mute. Sorry. Right. Hey, uh, Akarashio said, "Dog shit" with the emoji. See you all later. <laughs> 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 he's got to go and he's got to go and walk the dog, obviously. Yeah. Or he stepped in dog shit. One of the two. So, <laughs> oh, like, oh man, I just stepped in a pile of dog shit. It happens. What? <clears throat> Sometimes. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Across Joe, thanks for being here. We'll see you later. Did you say Akarashio or Crachio? <laughs> it sounded like, like, sound like you said Crachio. I was like, oh. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. <laughs> he did. He said Crachio. Crachio. <laughs> Jonathan, what's up? what's up? What's up, Jonathan? Jonathan, Jonathan. Welcome back to the first official Paul Mary return show. Uh, uh. Jonathan. I know it might surprise some people that I'm still here, but yep. Hey, uh, Donald, are those... Oh, he's got... He's muted. I was wondering Don't if those headlights were I'm LEDs drinking. or old school. <clears throat> if you notice, Paul. Yeah. I named my Sunday show this morning. They are incandescent, ready for, but ready for you. I LEDs my Sunday show. with turn signals built in are in the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I named my Sunday show the Sunday shit show. The Sunday shit show. Ah. That way, everyone was so happy to get back for you to come back. So you you did that in my honor. Yeah. Okay. And then. And to make it worthwhile so properly, I invited Justin and Dominic and Donald and Laura all onto the panel. Oh, yeah. Some LEDs on that thing. Fuck yeah. Huh. You light up the road, man. <clears throat> Better put a fog one on it. Actually, you know what looked badass? I mean, like an one, LED, awesome. No, an LED light bar across the top on the front there. Right, put these on. Yeah, the uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, that would look badass. Yeah, that's that's a possibility too. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a uh, uh, little uh, bonnet up there. Uh, yeah, are you gonna put a gun on cover that? that's gonna come across here <clears throat> and cover from the front to the back? Little We're sun cover, yeah, put a little uh. My brain is not working right now. Uh, that'd yeah. be nice with those really hot to days when you want to go out driving. But, uh, but yeah, I, I don't. I'm not going to plan on driving it too much at night. But it'll be nice to have some bright headlights when I'm driving at night. But the main thing about having brighter headlights is driving during the day for visibility. Because when you're even yep. though it's bright yellow, you would not believe the number of people that don't see a little bug or the little thing because they're not used to looking for it, so they don't see it. Right. Exactly. So. Or do you see it and see Donald and go, go for it. <laughs> I just realized, as much as you guys are telling me how to do my job here, I that's some engagement. I really should. Just set up a camera and do a live stream of me working and have you guys bitch about it. <laughs> I'm not bitching. I was just making suggestions how to make it look cooler. <clears throat> I don't. I don't necessarily think we're oh, bitching yeah. about. It, sure and I agree. I agree, guys. And it, those are things. Right now, the thing is to get it back together. Where's driving? Then there's other things that 
like oh, rewire yeah, just a little bit at a time, but I can do it while it's on the road. <laughs> right. That's just cosmetic shit you can do later. Well, not even Hold cosmetic shit, but actual functional shit is stuff that I can do later, but after I've got it where I can it's drive it down the road. Call. I can pull it in on the weekends. I can work on it for a couple hours to improve mm. a little bit here and then take it up back out on the road. LEDs so, along the roll bar and a Porsche 911 engine in the back. I think Lance yeah. is coming live from a nightclub. Yeah. It would, <laughs> it would need to get 911. I would definitely have to get a full functional roll bar, which would mean a complete rebuild is not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a tootling down the road build. Looks like Lance is at a at a club or something. Yeah, I mean I've got the uh what is it, 1835. Lance Lance is a flasher. He's a flasher. What the hell is he doing? He must be in his pocket or something. Yeah, he's no, got the 1835 in it, but I I would be happy going back to the 1600. That's because that's all I need. The hell is he doing? No, no. No, Either that or he's getting arrested. No, no, oh God, no, dude, that's no, going to give me a... No, no, there's no that's going to cause somebody a fucking no, no. seizure. Jesus. Uh, hey, they really, he's really striving. He's... Has he got the 1303 in it? <laughs> Maybe, Is it, what was your question, Mark? I said, has it got the 1303 in it? Donald's on no, I don't know. Poor Donald has to keep coming on mute in his fucking phone. Oh, he's right phone. over there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's on Zoom, so the noise cancellation shouldn't be too bad. I had to look at the telly to see where he was. <laughs> you know, Justin, I didn't think about being on Zoom. The noise cancellation might be okay. I'll, I'll leave it off if you guys... If the hammering comes through too much, tell me. I can't hear anything so far. He ain't doing, doing anything, anything yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's got an 1835 in it. Uh, the transaxle is the original, I think, 1962. I'm pretty sure it's an original 1962 transaxle in it. It was built off of the 1962, so the front end, uh, everything like the rolling chassis is 1962. The engine that was in it when I bought it was in 1969, mm -hmm. and it blew up, and I had to get this other engine put in, and it was based off of, I think it was around a 72, 73 Super Beetle, uh, and it mm -hmm. was built at 1835. Uh-huh. Nice. Mm. What what is the what is the distance Don, what is the distance to your uh, closest shops in terms of if you were gonna go there, how far would your you know local shops be? Shop, he says, not shops, shops. Oh, um, local shops for what? Uh just anything. Just a you know, general say a grocery store or something near oh. that you would use this to go backward and forward is what I'm trying. Ten minutes. I'm ten minutes from a Walmart. So Mike. Okay. Yeah, Mike. What's yeah, up? Uh, hey, Mike. My old job used to be right next to Walmart, and last summer I was driving it back and forth to work every day. Hey, Donald, um, don't leave change in the center console. You might get a broken window at uh, Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah, because that that would be if I if I were building something like that, that'd be my purpose to go yeah, to the. I, Actually, to be yeah. honest with that thing, if you're out driving it, I'd put a kill switch in there somewhere. Uh, there is. I'm, I've got uh, here. Let me show you. <clears throat> These are cardboard mock-up pieces that I drew up for a trunk that is going to go into the back eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, trunk, and it'll have a kill switch in there, possibly even a stereo. But one side is mainly going to be storage for stuff I'm going to do. If I want to go somewhere, I just throw something back there to store it. Or uh, and the other side's gonna be tools. The other side will be tools. And the kill switch will probably be on the tool side. I'll, I'm getting planning to put one in there. But uh, that's always good for yeah, me. Dominic. The the thing about it is is taking an air cooled engine for a ten minute drive to the shop is not ideal for them. You need to run them for a while. They they get really they're happiest when they run for a little bit of a distance. 
uh, the just a 10 minute drive, drive up the street is barely enough time to get it warmed up enough for the oil to be cooling. Mm. And so you're overheating your engine just to. Okay. I've, I've never really driven a, uh, an air cooled uh, car. So yeah. Kind of be more yeah. I take it the heat exchange has been taken out then. There is no heat exchange on these engines. Uh, it is cooled through the oil. You have a fan shroud back there and you've got a external oil cooler that will cycle up through the air, uh, oil cooler up on top. And then a lot of your cooling takes place in the push rod tubes as well. I mean, no, the heat exchanger worked off the exhaust to supply hot air to the cab. Oh, yeah. But I've got a couple <laughs> I've got a couple heater boxes there that came with the engine. Uh -huh. But I had no heater for this thing. It won't run in the winter actually because uh, yeah. it's a it's a center mount carburetor and by the time it gets down into the intake uh, it has cooled off enough, and I don't have a, a heater up on the intake manifold. Yeah. So uh, mm. it cools off and it condenses before it actually gets into combustion chamber. Mm. And so it does not run well in the cold weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, aspirated cars generally don't. So. Yeah. Well, my old, the original engine that came in here uh, mm. would have run okay in the winter because it was. Uh, it had the exhaust, it had the tube, uh, the heat risers coming off the exhaust sure. into uh, basically a sister tube along the intake manifold. Mm -hmm. And that tube would carry hot gas from yeah. one exhaust over to the other. You'd have a large hole in one exhaust, small hole in the other exhaust mm -hmm. to put in a pressure differential and go ahead and pull hot gas across the intake yeah. manifold to keep the gas heated up, keep the gas vapor heated up on the way to the mm -hmm. uh, cylinders. But this one does not have that. So, and this is actually a, uh, a multi part uh, intake manifold. So, you've mm -hmm. got the intake right off the uh, carburetor, goes into uh, rubber connector tubes, and then over to the actual intake on the headers. Mm. And so, it'd be kind of hard to run heat. I guess I could run a heater to that column uh, right below the carburetor. Yeah, but and at that's the same probably... time, you're gonna, would you run it? You would. Would you run out of room though, or do you have enough room in there to do that, or would, would it be not uh, equitable to do it? Oh, I don't think it'd be worth doing it, but I could. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's not uh, worth it. It, 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 it would involve dropping the. It would involve dropping the engine to do that. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. possibly, possibly reshaping the uh, the fan shroud a little bit to make room for it. Mm. Yeah, it, not not really worth it. No, I I'm just going to figure on winter being the cold days of winter being a work on it time and the yeah. Hey, how many car garage is that, Donald? Two. Oh, I found the door. Uh... Because you got one, one car that you drive every day, but where's your wife's car? It's up, It's right behind the door here, outside. Oh, her her car sits outside. I got it. Yeah, I my, truck is, my truck is on the street. Her car parks behind the buggy, and my son's has his Miata over on the other side of the garage here, and his other car that he drives when it's too cold to drive or too wet and nasty to drive the Miata is parked on the end of the driveway down by the road. Okay. So, you got, so you have you have four 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 vehicles? No, um, six. Oh, six. I, no, no. I've got my wife and I have three. My wife and I have three vehicles counting the buggy. My son okay. has two vehicles. And two. My son has two vehicles. I don't have two vehicles. My son does. He lives here, but they're not my cars. <laughs> so I found a key. I was able to locate the code for my door on my edge. Oh, great. I found it in the fuse box. So now I know what the keypad, the door lock on the car is on the keypad. Lance, hang up your phone. Because <laughs> uh, all the, you know how all Fords have the little keypad on the door? Yeah. So you can put yeah. in the code to unlock it. I finally found a video where it showed me where the damn key, where the uh, code was, and I found it in the fuse box. It worked. He's gone. Uh, now, now I know what the door lock code is. 
Well, the, the book keep had entry on Ford's. None of my Ford's have ever had it. Over here, it's Stan. Ford's been doing it for years. We have a keypad with uh, nine numbers on outs on the outside of a door, outside the door, driver's side door. And Usually a four in, number right? code, right? That's a five number code. Five, okay. Mm. Because what it jumps from a four digit code is 10,000 different options, and then it jumps to what, like 100,000 just by adding one more number? Mm. I think. Man, that'd be crazy if he. Put... Why is alphanumeric? Justin? Sorry, what? That, just be... numbers? No, no. It's just numbers, yeah. Okay, then would add, add, add an extra dimension. There's five buttons, and then each button has. Yeah, so there's five buttons, and each one has two numbers on it, and you just put the code in. So that's 10. So every extra number would just raise it by one order of magnitude. Mm. Pretty much. Mm. But a four digit combination, it, it, you have 10,000 different. The options you can choose from right but if as i said if you add if you add an alphanumeric pad into that that really uh, jumps the numbers yep because you just added 26 to each order 26 to each number yeah. right to each order of magnitude you've added 26 digits yes oh so somehow lance okay so lance was walking and had his fucking phone in his pocket and must have had the live up and clicked the link in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> must have clicked the link in the chat. It was like, it was flashing in there. <laughs> he just called me and he's walking somewhere. And you guys are not hearing this banging at all. No. no. Awesome. Don, you should, you should somehow like construct. Suicide doors on that dune buggy. Why? Why do you need doors? Why do you need doors? Suicide doors on it. Exactly. Yeah. Why do you need doors? I don't know. Just just for shits and giggles. <laughs> there's there's literally no place for doors unless it cuts the body yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> when I was Door. looking for, when I was looking, I did see a buggy that was down in I think it was Louisiana somewhere. It might have been Georgia, but it came back and where the where this is right here, right about here, it came down and it was a step in. It was a step side doom buggy where you just stepped into it. You didn't have to step over anything. Uh, does that thing have a windshield? Yeah. It flipped it, out. Uh, oh, it's a down one. It's, it's over there. Off. See yeah. it? Oh, uh, is it just a couple brackets to right? Yeah. Oh, okay. But don't don't you have one that flips up and down? Uh uh. Oh, okay. Because the ones that I've seen, Jen, some of them had that. You could flip it yeah. up. Yeah. This down. this just uh once you put the hood back on, the windshield bolts into the sides of the hood. Okay, okay. you know. Yeah, because I've seen the wind, windscreen wipers are uh, lean rag. over and wipe it with a rug. Uh, mm. I did have to put windshield wipers on this thing. It didn't have when I bought it, but I had to put them on to uh, actually get it inspected by the state. Mm. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck do you need those for? You're driving down the road with no roof. Like, I'm not driving it in the rain, jackass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a requirement, unfortunately, though. <sighs> Uh, you want to see what our cars have to go through for an MOT test. Now, if your brake fluid is dirty, it fails. Yeah. You know what kind of inspection we do in Florida? Same <laughs> kind that they do in Oklahoma? We don't do no. jack shit. You, you can have straight pipes on your car and they don't give a shit. <laughs> Oklahoma, sucks. Not bad. Uh, Oklahoma doesn't require you to show, to show up with the car for an inspection. We don't even do inspections. <laughs> right. Nah. And so that when I bought this, not... this buggy had not been for an inspection. They, when I bought it, the title that they had been uh, licensing, had been tagging it under, 
had nothing to do with this car. You could not find any uh, VIN number that matched the title. So when I brought to Missouri, I had to get all the parts adjudicated to me, then go over to get state inspection, make sure that I did not steal the parts. Oh, then geez. they had to send it up to uh, the uh, uh, Jeff City, to the Capitol, get that back to me and give me a brand new VIN number for this thing as a constructed vehicle. You couldn't have just done a lean cell on it? it yeah, it doesn't matter. I still had to get it. Yeah. Since there was no <laughs> registration for this vehicle, oh, I had okay. to, and there was no way to tie this to me. I had to get it, take it into, basically had to have a lawyer take it to a judge and say, yes, he owns these parts. So I got an adjudicated title to the parts. Okay. And then I had to get a brand it's new VIN number right? as a constructed vehicle with those parts. Yeah, it's a big so, difference. Yeah, if, be sure to know what your laws are in the state that you're in before you uh, ever buy a vehicle from Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wouldn't be buying, I wouldn't be buying uh, any vehicle from Oklahoma firstly, well, because the, the, the steering wheel is on the wrong side of the car. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind buying a right hander. If, because you can drive them, you can get them. Legal. Yeah, you can drive them legally over yeah, there. We, yeah, we have a, we have several. Uh, yeah, we can drive. Uh, generally, but, uh, drive legally generally well. must be. Every time but shift, but car, shifting turns out to be a bit. Yeah. You got to learn how to shift. My friend's mom for years had a some kind dusty? of a Jeep that was from the UK. Mm -hmm. And she used to drive them to bring them to the bus stop all the time and drop them off. And it was a right hand. <laughs> Now, the thing that sucks is I paid the guy extra money for a clean title. He was asking mm. more than I would have paid. And I was like, you know, I'll pay it because it's got a clean title. And when I got back and started <laughs> going through it, it was, uh, had nothing to do with it. I called him on it, and he's like, nope, that's how it's been registered here. It's like, that's not the same thing as a clean title. And it turned out to be either I spend the money to sue him to reverse the sale and go through all that, or I spend the same money just to make it legal. Yeah. yeah and going to court the is just a pain in the ass. Situation, and, and as I said, I can only speak about Victoria. Queensland up, Andrew, might be Bill? But in Victoria, but, in Victoria, what you do is you buy the car, they give you the, they give you a, a, a sale receipt or title. Yeah. You then go to Vic Roads, which are the, um, like a DMV. You go there, you tell them you tell them this, and they'll say, "We what we need is a roadworthy." Now that you go to a mm -hmm. person that does roadworthies, you, they check all the they have a list of things that they need to check. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if everything is uh, above board, they yeah, those are our state inspections. Down, right yeah. and down, right and down. You take that, <clears throat> you take that to Vic Roads. <clears throat> they'll say, "Okay." These have to be done. You've got 30 days to do it. You do mm -hmm. it. You go to the roadworthy place. They tick everything off. Mm -hmm. And then you go there. You take that. You take insurance. And you take um, your driver's license and all your details. And then they, you have, they have to inspect the car itself to see if everything is, you know, kosher. Right. Those, then, those roadworthy are the state inspections, Dominic, and they're actually looking at a car. They don't do yeah. that in Oklahoma. Okay. We don't even do that. We just go in and pay the thirty dollars for and, registration. Right. For... I guess in Florida they don't do it either. And that's yeah. the thing. I, I wouldn't have paid as much money as I did, except it was but, supposed to have a clean title. Thirty dollars registration. Jeez. Yeah, yeah we yeah. pay or you you pay thirty two dollars a year or sixty four dollars for two years. That's all you got to yep. do. Try, try eight hundred and fifty something. That's like nope. it used to it used to be that way, Dominic, in Kansas City when I was out there with the pizza business. Oh, yeah. I was stunned. I went in to register a car, and I'm used to registering for like sixteen, eighteen, twenty dollars. It was <laughs> four hundred and ninety-two dollars and sixty-three cents. Eight hundred and sixty something. Dominic, when I go to the DMV, I sing the national anthem. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's got um transport accident transport accident 
commission charge, which is a third party. Third party. It doesn't charge. matter what they call it. It's it's just to get your money. Yeah, <laughs> and then on top of that, you've got um, registration fee, and then another roads fee on top of it. Andrew, hopefully on demand, my friend. Hopefully on demand. It should be called "You Got It, We Want It" tax. Exactly. And car regulations are almost non-existent in Florida. Like, you can have modifications. You can have fucking no catalytic convert. Uh, uh, nah. Catalytic converter. You don't have to have any of that shit. You could just drive straight pipe if you want. They don't give a shit. Nah, you've got to go over the pits, and it takes them an hour to we can have- go through with a fine tooth comb. Oh. See, our state inspections, it takes maybe 15, 20 minutes. When I got one, I bought one from another another state in Australia. <clears throat> you, you, you had to pay for a, um, a permit to drive it because it didn't have registration. So I had to pay for a permit to drive it. So I could only drive it from home to the, um, what do you call that thing, the... Uh, Vic Roads to get it inspected okay. and then they inspect it and they say okay this needs to be done so you've got to go to the roadworthy place they've got to tick it off and then you take that certificate to Vic Roads over the pits and then you can Jesus it's an Christ. Huh? Yeah, it takes me like 20 minutes and I'm out for two years <laughs> no, Wait, it would that, take... that, doesn't, that doesn't make sense it's like 45 uh, minutes to an hour yeah, I spent about 20 minutes in the tag agency and I'm gone for now. I don't see him for the next two years. <laughs> but see, here in Florida, too, they split it. So, like, you have the tag agency and then you have the DMV. So, because they're split and they're two different offices, it makes the it streamlines it a little faster. So, you know, we just have one office. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you go to other states, they'll have DMV that does everything and you'll be there for yeah. four hours standing in line. Waiting to get in and just to get you're a going there, or something. You're taking your paperwork, and then what they do is, <clears throat> oh well, it's pretty similar to the, the what you're calling tag. Yeah, that's a, just a different side of it. But as well, I said, it, I can only speak for Victoria. And it's really weird over here, Donald. Like in Florida, it's actually the tax collector that does the license. Oh, okay. Hmm. So you actually go to the tax office to do your life. They're the ones that do all the license. And then they have a separate office across town that does the tags. That's all they do is registrations and tags. Hey, Bill. <laughs> nah, it's, it's a lot different. It's a lot different here. And as I said, I can only speak for Victoria, not Queensland. <laughs> but like in California, Tim can probably give us a go to the DMV, bro. You'll point be there point. half the fucking day. Vegas. Yeah, the lineup. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yes, we can. Even with the in fucking Queensland. appointment. Oh, go ahead, Tim. In, Queen- in Queensland, if you buy it off of the car lot, all that is done for you. That's if oh, you yeah. buy it privately. That you got to take it and get a road yeah. worthy. You got to go get it. Yeah, third party. See, yeah. Tim, the way Dominant makes it sound, uh, you don't want to get this dune buggy from me. <laughs> As I said, I'm not speaking for Queensland. What? I'm only speaking for Victoria. I'd love to get that dune buggy. I'm no, it sounds like it'd be a lot of work. I put a 350 in it, raise it up. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, as I said, I can't speak for Queensland. So you'd yeah, ruin my dune buggy then? Man. Nah, I'd, I'll make that go. Part of its character is to. Well, wait a minute. You'd put, what would you put in it? Three fifty. Uh huh. That's that's, that's like putting a senior citizen so you, on a moped. So you'd, yeah, but, you'd have to. Uh, so you'd have to put a, a water cooler in here, right? Yeah, that oh, yeah. that means it means. Yeah, so your water cooler would have to go up here where the trunk is. So you'd have to get your water cooler here, most likely. Mm-hmm. Um, because I've seen it. I've seen people do do these conversions with Subaru engines, and actually Subaru engines work a lot better. They work really, really well. Yeah. I, I you do have to have a water cooler. <laughs> yeah, but see, the other the other situation is if you're putting something like that in, you're putting extra weight in it, so that that adds to the power to weight ratio. 
You want not that much, rate. but you are putting more weight in the back end, so you do have yeah. to weight in. Yeah, yeah, you got to balance it. That's, you move uh, the advantage of the Subaru engine is that that is a boxer engine too. Right. It is, but it's water cooled. Yeah. Yes, true. But I would, I would actually go to um, a motorbike but, engine and put a Hayabusa in there because <laughs> they do the make conversion engine. kits for the transmission that you could put a, uh, a Harley Davidson engine back here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. If you use a motorbike yeah. engine, they're a lot smaller. And you've got more room to move. And secondly, they weigh less. So if they weigh less, the power to weight ratio works better than using the uh, 350 engine. Because it's not necessary. It's not always about the the uh, literage or <clears throat> cubic capacity. It's about the power right. to weight ratio towards what you've got to what you can push. <laughs> Right, but yeah, you you do that, you're going to take the heart out of it. It needs a Volkswagen engine to make it sound right. Mm. You know what you said, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, as I said, I you know, there's no there's no right there's no right answers. There's no wrong answer. Oh, there is a wrong answer. Tim had the wrong answer. <laughs> hey, Dusty. Uh, hey Tim, how does that make you feel? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> if you put a V8 like engine in there, there'd be no room for anybody to sit in it. No. Mm -hmm. then, As I said, that's the other problem. Just think of uh, what the temp would be too. Sure, yeah. Donald only needs room for him and the wife. That's it. Yeah, that's all you know. <laughs> and, and a bit of shopping. Yeah. Yeah, when I bought it, it had a seat back here. Mm. And I took that seat cushion out first thing. There's no way I was going to have somebody riding back there and get in an accident. Their faces go directly into the roll, roll bar. Not going to happen. Mm. Mm. Totally unsafe. They'd have to be strapped in, wouldn't they? I don't think that would even help. Are you going to put uh, – do you have uh, like three or five-point harnesses in there or no? No. <laughs> No, no, that's, what you need. Yeah. that's what you need to get. You, you cannot to just not come with a lap belt. Uh, it would be illegal to put uh, a five point harness in this thing. Mm. Why? I don't know. It's just illegal. No, but that's so, those, those are so. I'm saying when you have a. a, a I don't see why. That's stupid because those well, are. Well, I would think a, a three point would work good uh, because you can hook the, 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 the upper strap. Onto the roll cage. If, if it's a functional right. roll cage, if it's a functional roll cage, yes, this is not a functional roll cage. That's just a screw down, isn't it? It doesn't go. This, the this roll cage is bolted into the frame, but it is not a true roll cage. Hmm. Oh, okay. It would just have yeah. a lap belt, wouldn't it? Yeah, this just has lap belts. Yeah, yeah. that that was original equipment. Yeah, yeah. That's how my, my buddies was, like my that would have lap belts. My mouth yeah. just had a you know, lap belt. Now, if you're building, if you're building a rail buggy, the rail buggy, the frame, the roll cage, and everything is built into the frame. You can put yeah. the harness in those. So you're saying if that thing flipped, that roll cage wouldn't do nothing? Yeah. Oh, the roll cage would do something. It would fold over on me. Pulled <laughs> <laughs> over. Fuck you, though. <laughs> pulled over on me. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you ever like plan on putting an actual roll cage in there? No. Uh, in order to do that. Or just beefing that? <laughs> Is there a way to just beef that one up a little bit? Like if you took it to. Not the really. There, there's not really a way to do that. The only way to do. That is if I was to go ahead and disassemble the entire thing down to a uh, just a rolling chassis and build it, uh, rebuild it from the ground up. Uh. And I'm not at that point yet. <laughs> well, you just want to keep it as authentic as possible. Sounds like. 
Well, this is just a little 45, 50 mile an hour cruiser. Just drive around back roads. Are you ever going to take it on the beach? Yeah, uh, I I plan on taking it down to the uh, uh, big, the great big Missouri beach next week. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Oh, you don't have a beach there, do you? Oh, fuck, sorry. I don't know. I've never been to Missouri. I've never been to fucking Missouri. There's some beachfront property Donald owns. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. park up next to the banks of the Mississippi. Yeah. Bridgefront property here is very uh very quick. You can find it anywhere in Australia. Well, actually, Tim, the answer I, I gave you a smart ass answer, but the answer is yes. There are lakes around here where you can drive up to the beach on the lake. So oh, there is. Oh, there I is. probably oh, will be taking it to a beach lake or a lake beach. Take it fishing. I don't fish. Okay. I do camp though. Oh, yeah, I'd be go. a good little camping. Uh, yeah, go out north. Not from oh, not from me and my wife, but from if it was just me, yeah. All I, when, I, when I go when I go camping, all I need is my backpack. And mm. go to the backpack in the passenger seat. I could be pretty comfortable. You can put trailer hitches on them, can't you? Uh, I would have to. I could. Uh, the cage around the engine right now. That I would have to beef that up a little bit. It is uh, bolted into the main fork, and then back over to yeah. the shock. And I could. I need a little bit more strengthening on the lower uh, tabs yeah. where it joins into the main fork. But I'll just think if of I, like if, a yeah, if I stiffen that up, I could put. Yeah, if I stiffen that up, I can go ahead and put a hitch on here and get like, and I've thought about it, get like a little motorcycle hit, a uh, little motorcycle trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Just put all your equipment in. Yeah, yeah I, I, that, that would be kind of cool. And that would just yeah. require uh, stiffening up those tabs where the uh, engine cage mounts up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because you couldn't pull too much with that thing. No, yeah, you wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want to get something small. Oh, you get one of those little, uh, those little <clears> just, uh, the little campers where it's literally just a bed. Oh, the yeah, teardrops? Yeah, I was just thinking yeah, that. yeah. Little teardrop campers, those really of... tiny ones. I was just but you guys, of you're, you guys are overthink You guys are overthinking it. I go hiking with my backpack and we'll spend two, three days out in the woods with just the stuff I'm carrying on my back. That, this this would work perfect. I never got, got to, I never got used to wiping my bottom with leaves. <laughs> you, Do you think the boogie Paul, will Paul, still you be carry toilet there paper with you? you. Oh. Paul, Paul, you carry toilet paper with you <laughs> uh, when you're back. With, you build you dig yourself a scat hole and you actually use toilet paper, but you don't want animals digging up the toilet paper and stuff. That's so right. After you wipe, after you wipe, you take your lighter. And you set the toilet paper on fire and toss it in the scat hole, let it burn up. So and that very... that's that must be where the phrase came scat pack. Mm -hmm. Now, some places make you carry a little blue bag when you hike in, and that's where you uh, crap in the bag and carry it out with you. I don't think so. I just rather <laughs> do I just rather just dig that. a hole and damn poop in the damn hole and then cover it back Some... up. Some places don't allow you to do that. Uh, yeah, the poop patrol will get you, TJ. But they would never know because they'd be covered up again. You're leaving, well, D you're leaving DNA wherever you go, buddy. You're <laughs> leaving DNA. Uh, get the FBI out here. This looks like it's human. <laughs> uh, Bastard didn't blue bag it. Let's catch him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Jesus Christ. Oh, DJ be out in the I'm woods and all of a sudden a big Jimmer Shepherd be coming up behind him. Uh, mm. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Dre. Hey, Dre. 
Now, we don't need to send this one off for DNA. We know exactly who that is. That's P.J. Alexander. <laughs> also, he, leave, he leaves a signature note that says, you'll never catch me, the poop <laughs> man. <That's> me, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, never catch him because he's the scat pack man. <laughs> the scat pack man. That's kind of <laughs> shitty. That's kind of shitty, right, Tim? <laughs> That's kind of yeah, uh, somebody else wants to do uh, work for me today. I feel like going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, got, you got sick days coming, don't you? No, I don't. No, I work. You either work. Done. You don't have any. I'm you don't on. have vacation or sick days. No, I'm a. Uh, I'm contractor. No, no. In, instead of calling in sick, just call in dead. <laughs> call in dead. Yeah. Uh, I got better. Okay. Can't come into work. I can't come into work today because I'm dead. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. We thought you were dead. I got better. <laughs> I got better. It's, a, it's only a flesh wound. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Just Speaking of which, how's your pussy cat doing? Oh, she's just, yeah, she's all right. <laughs> all right. She doesn't yeah, like you leaving her, does she? No. No, Going by what we saw on uh, the uh, stream the other day, when you left, she was howling at the door. Oh, she was so cute yeah. running back and forth, like, where did he go? Where did he go? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> running around and then howling at the door. Where's my daddy? Uh, it was, it was, it was like cuter than all get out. <laughs> uh, she's oh, a I missed that one. <laughs> Oh, that was just there, there wasn't a dry eye in the house, TJ, because everybody with that poor little pussy, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> How could you leave me? <laughs> could you leave? Yeah, right. And we were like... My eyes were dry. <laughs> we're saying we're with you, Serenity. He's a real ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, she does have separation issue. She's like, yeah, he's a real sniveling shit, isn't he? Yeah. He sure is. Uh, don't worry, Tim. Give it a few months and she won't care less. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's cool, though. Well, if you ever Here's get that second cat, getting... that would help. No, nah, I'm not getting a second cat. No. Right, Dominic? Yeah, exactly. No, not going to happen. Well, that's up to you, but I'm saying uh, usually a pair of cats do a lot much better left mm. alone than a single by themselves. Not to mention oh. twice the damage. Yeah. Exactly. When you go to, when you have three, when you have three, it's even more damage. Oh, that's all right. I'm good oh. with one. Let's not put a number on it. Let's just call it a clouder. Yeah. Right, get yourself a cloud of cats, you'll be fine. Nope. One's enough. A clouder doesn't make sense as a descriptive as a collective noun for cats. It should be an ignorance. Yeah. Because <laughs> cats ignore you constantly. It should be an ignorance of cat. It's a curiosity. Hey Donald. Yeah. yeah. I sent you a message, uh Dusty was wondering to know if that was worth it. It's a camera he I think he found on Facebook Marketplace or something he wanted you to look at. Dusty got another webcam. He, he's asked me to forward it to you just, just to see. No, it's a like a DSLR or whatever. <clears throat> to me. No, no, no. He sent it to Donald. He wanted to know if it was worth the money. Uh -oh. I think it was yeah, Tim, you don't know shit, Tim. <laughs> I don't know shit about... No one was or... here, right? Well, uh, he was I looking, know. I think, on Facebook Marketplace or something. Wanted to know if it was worth it. <laughs> What's with the vacuum? Are you going to attach that somewhere? Are you going to use that as like a, a booster? Something? I'm going <laughs> to clean up all this shit I've been chipping off into the floor. 
Have you no, never used a vacuum? Do you not know what they're for? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought maybe, you know, maybe like a little, like an R2-D2, like sitting in the back there, use it for like an R2-D2, like Star Wars style. <laughs> oh, me. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to hook it up, TJ, to the car when he runs out of petrol so he can get back home. Oh, yeah, there you go. That too. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll send him your profile file link if that's all right and then oh. we can message you on messenger about it who's that donald i was gonna say i think i got those that you on facebook don't it? i'm gonna send him donald's uh facebook profile and then he can message uh donald. that looks uh That's not a. It's not like it's a steal. Um, Is it worth it? Is it, it worth looks it like been, it looks like it's been used pretty heavy. Uh, I can't really tell. The lens is dirty. It doesn't look ch chipped though. Um, okay. Yeah. The. Uh, I'll send it to Joe, too. I'm sure he might want to look at it. Joe's muted. David's got his printer going. Yeah, uh, decide to put, you, put it on the uh, here so I can watch it while talking to you guys. Uh, uh, What's your printer? A lifter thing. A different thing, he says. Lifter thing. Muted, Joe. <laughs> Mm. It's always something different. Is the camera close to him, or he has to have it shipped? It's I mean that. I up. it depends. It it's an okay price, I guess. I mean, it is. What is it? Uh, what year is it? It's twenty four. It that's like a fifteen year old camera. I believe the Sony three thirty. Let me look this up. Yes, it came out in 2009. So that'd be what, 14, 15 years, 16? Yeah, that's 15. quite old. Yeah. Um, but it's probably one of those but, cameras that, even by today's standards, is pretty decent, right? Right. For for only for mm -hmm. only 150. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you we could probably talk. About no, too. no, it is not worth it. Okay. Uh, I don't think it says used in good condition, but then it says does not record. However, mm. SD cards can be used to save photos. So does that mean that video is no longer working on it? Yeah, that's like. that's, if that's the case, I definitely wouldn't buy it. Well spotted there, Donald. Either Wait. that or he No, I should it was that pre video? Let me double check. Is he is he just wanting to take, to take pictures? Uh, he didn't specify. I sent him your profile link so he could message <laughs> you on Messenger about it. So. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't either. What's that, Joe? I said I wouldn't buy it either. Yeah. That's the first thing I said. It, it did, didn't record on the video side, and that's old technology. That that model we're in a, we're in a nine already. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because who's to say that the picture part doesn't fail on it right no. after he gets it, you know? Mm. He did buy it. Unless the guy's description was just, he was trying to say it doesn't do video. I don't yeah, know. It, it might not do video. It's got the HDMI out, but that might be for doing like a picture. Just a, a, live, a live view of what you do, like for an external monitor. But that doesn't make like any if you sense. You wanted to do like a slideshow or something. I would get a more recent camera. Here, I'll send him 
Joe's profile too, and that way, if he has questions, he can get like, reach out to either one of you. I don't know mm -hmm. if he's friends with Joe on there, but I'll send him Joe's thing too. Hey Joe, it's hard question. to buy a used camera right now. You gotta, you gotta really look into what they got out there because there's so much technology. Yeah. Well, it just I'm depends saying. on what you're using it for too. That's really the big thing. Because yep. you don't need a big DL, DSLR or the new digital, big anything big. You can get a little smaller setup now, and right. get the, it depends on what you're doing. In my case, I need the big crap. You know. Yeah. If I was, if I was to get a camera now, if I was just wanting to shoot. And I wasn't doing anything professional. I would really look at an all-in-one. Yeah. Just because it would be portable. They shoot great video. You wouldn't have the flexibility of different lenses and stuff. But for the, hmm. for the majority of shooting, you don't need it. Especially for someone who's not doing it at a pro level. Hey, Joe, how's Loki doing? He starts going through. Logan's doing good. He hasn't had a seizure probably in a month. I saw you gave him some of those little little treat things, right? Yeah, not just now. I gave him a shredded wheat. Oh, shredded wheat. Yeah. That's always good, shredded wheat. No, that that's, has no That's, what, that's, movie that's what TJ's wife throws to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. that <laughs> that model had no built-in movie mode, so if he's wanting to catch video, then that's not going to be work for him. If he's just wanting for stills, an all-in-one would probably be better. Get him more megapixels, hmm. more compact. East Coast, uh, East Coast in the chat says, "Thank you, guys. I'm on a cheap, cheap like 150 and under." Ah. Uh, Okay, are you? Is he wanting video? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He's not in the chat anymore. But I did message him your guys' profiles, so if you had questions, he could ask you or Joe. So, because you guys are the two. I don't know. Uh, he just he just pop, popped in there at six the forty. I said y'all are the two camera experts on the panel. So. No, no, he says no pro, just see a lot of things I want a real camera to have beside a phone. Oh, Dusty, go <laughs> into your messenger and problem is Donald in there. Uh, quality of his phone's probably gonna be better than anything you could buy for 150. Yeah, your phone is is great. Phone catches video, catches images. Phones are usually fantastic if you just wanted to have a separate camera. I would go with something like a Canon Power Shot, if yeah. if that's all you want is to have a separate. It catches mm -hmm. catches okay video. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be great video. It's not gonna be the biggest, largest megapixel and end all be all for still shots. But it's a flexible camera for an entry price. Yep. East East Coast, if you want to join the panel, you don't have to stay. You don't even have to turn a camera on, just uh, with voice. You can come in and talk to the boys. Mm -hmm. You got two 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 photographers here. You got uh, Donald and you have uh, Joe. Uh, Joe's a photographer. I'm a videographer. Okay. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a hacker at half wide between both of them. I, I personally I'm a half asser. Uh, uh, I'm just a hacker. A hacker. Yeah, I I, I kind of want to get back into doing still photography again but yeah me I'd too to... yeah I'd, I'd love to do more of it myself uh yeah if you're wanting to catch wild okay here's the problem if you're wanting to catch wildlife in your backyard you're going to want to have probably a telephoto and that kind of locks you out of a lot of the entry level cameras hmm. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, I, it, it's going to push you into something larger. Uh, let me look here. Uh, but let me look here, see if I can't. See, but the, the that, that, camera you, that camera you were looking at, that was an 18 to 55. That's not going to get you close to the birds not. either. You're going to want to go mm -hmm. to at least uh, 70, some, but most likely in the 120. Range as far as 120 millimeters to 
bring those birds in close. I would I would have gone even further out. And then you yeah, I'm so, that's why I said at least. Yeah, I would have gone at least the 300 because and then you can sit right back and then you're not. Oh, well, 300, 300 is a pretty good. 300 is a good range to, to is a really good range to go to. Yeah, but because I'm saying you're not disturbing them. Because the closer you get to them, the more you're going to disturb. Them. So that's why right. I would go right. way back. To the big... Right. The cabin yeah, was yeah, a nice you're... little pool, Bob. Yeah, if you're going for wildlife, uh, that's going to push you up in price bracket just because. Yeah. 300 mil lens is going to set you back a, a pretty penny. <laughs> Right back, Mia wants something again. Well, so that's the the main thing, wildlife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you talking? You talking? I I think the cheapest way to go would be a, would be Olympus. Olympus will give you the lenses. It won't give you the greatest glass, but it'll still mm -hmm. give you glass right. that's good enough. Yeah. And Olympus is still it's still going to cost you more than one hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. You know, that's a that, that's something you can't get around. I was looking just now. I thought I found you something until you said wildlife. Mm. <laughs> you know, well, you said wildlife. Soul... I just stopped looking at that. I've got a Sony bridge a... camera, and it's got sixty times optical zoom and two hundred and forty times digital zoom. Which okay. one is that? Uh, ignore everything digital. Whenever it says digital, ignore the digital part. Yeah, no, digital is crap. Yeah. But the sixty is awesome. And that depends. Yeah, Sixty what, what? What camera is that? <laughs> it's a Sony, uh, twenty-four megapixel. What's okay. the model number? I don't know. I've had it for fucking ages, but it's still I can still zoom in and get the good pictures of the moon and stuff. Is it just like one of those little tiny cameras? Bridge cameras are now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're talking. Optical is gonna. That's gonna be moving you. You said it was. That's gonna be heading you. What is it? Probably. Well, it depends on how many millimeters you are at the low end. Sixty times doesn't mean anything unless you have one of those numbers to go off of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's zoom. Let's zoom. Well, like I said, Dusty, I sent you both their Facebook links, so if you find something, just get a hold of one of them and ask them before you buy anything. And then them two can help you out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm looking. The cheapest I'm finding with anything that's going to be halfway decent, is, you're looking at nine ninety nine. Oh, he's looking at $150 and under. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. That's well, why I'm saying Joe's just looking it. at the next camera he wants to buy. <laughs> no, the one I'm, the one I'm looking at is the Nikon A9. That's 6500 for the for the body. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. All right, East Coast. If you are heading, if you're looking for just doing stills, that that Sony is priced about right, but the lens is not going to get you where you want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he said lots of Canon Rebel T six O N's on the marketplace. You know, Canon, Canon the Rebel is, T6. The Canons are good cameras. I still got my Canon T two I over there. Uh, yeah. I don't use it very much anymore, but it's still a, a good camera. What about the Rebel uh, T six? I don't know about that. Oh, well, that's a lot of look at that one. T two I, my T two I might be on to something there. Yeah, because he said there's a whole bunch of those on there. Mm. Here, I'll show. Yeah, because you can get a you can get a brand new setup, a uh, Canon uh, T7, brand new setup with two lenses. <laughs> One's a seventy five three hundred at Best Buy, brand new for five ninety nine. <laughs> you know, if you can get it, you get your Best Buy credit card and get it for twenty four months, same as cash. Yeah. You know, for, for five ninety nine, that's a good deal. And that that's all optical zoom. You know, any, any digital zoom on that crap. That's still up above his. Uh, yeah, it's still wide above his. his unless he can. Uh, I'm looking at. Uh, yeah. 
but but it's up above but, his target. But if he could split it in, in 24 months, that that would fit in eventually. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Mia. Yeah, because that gives him 12, 8, 6, max ISO, expandable 12, 8, 6, is probably all he needs. <laughs> you know, he's got yeah. 24 megapixels right. effective. But yeah, a T a T six would be perfectly good. It'd be great, actually, because as long as you can swing the price, yeah, that works. And yeah, I, I even looked up above that to a T seven. See if they got like, I said, like I said, Best Buy I, Best Buy throws credit cards on there. Yeah, yeah, Best Buy. You like can I said, get, I um, still got my Canon T two I over in the corner, and the T six is far better than my T two I even. But the T2I, yeah. I can still pull it out and I can still shoot with it. I can it it they last for a good long time. They the were party, good cameras. The party's out of time, but you're still gonna get the lens. That's gonna be the next that's the next yeah. step. Oh, why? He said Joe's picking what he can afford. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm tr I'm trying to like I was saying, if he's gonna spin a, if he needs something to do wildlife, he needs the lens. That's the bottom well, line. If he can, well, that's what I'm saying. He's saying he's finding a lot of those on marketplace. Mm -hmm. So if he finds a good, what he thinks is a good deal, then he can send shoot you over the link and yeah. have you look at it, and then you guys. Can but you got to also it. find out how many pictures the guy is taking on it. Because right. you, know, you got, I think, 150 thousand acquisitions. Yep, that's true. You know, so you got to look rebels. at the total picture. Hold on. So there's yeah. only so many pictures you can take on a camera. You'll wow. start wearing out your. Uh, that mirror, especially on those, those, so. DSLRs, those, brief, those mirrors, have to flip up, up and down, and those wear oh, out. Wow, so I didn't got, know that. Got a lifetime yeah. on. Oh wow! Okay. Let's see if I got mine. Here's my, here's my shutter counts. Here's my shutter counts. This was uh, on twelve eight. Uh, my backup camera, I have one hundred and twenty four thousand five ninety seven. On my primary <laughs> camera, sixty nine thousand four eighty six. Yeah, um, I haven't even looked. Team like, photo primary, 102,565. I've never looked at my shutter counts on my T2i, and the Sony I've got is mirrorless. So, yeah, so I'm at the point where my the uh, the primary team photo one goes to 150. So I've got about 50,000. The other just, ones go 200. You guys just blew Dusty's mind. He goes, "What? That matters?" <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either, Dusty. Yeah. So. Yeah, the, uh, those mechanisms that flip up. I'm I'm making gestures yeah, well, at I'm my old and I'm old here. I'm I'm inside and my phone is outside in the garage still, and I'm looking at my desktop camera and talking to it. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so so Donald, I'm taking a I take it a mirrorless camera doesn't have that problem. No. Okay. No. You still have you still have a lifetime. Not as of much camera. of a problem. Yeah, the sensor still wears out eventually. Yeah, but yeah. you don't have. Everything you don't have that out. mechanism uh, flipping up. Whenever you hear the camera go ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, it's that lens or that mirror flipping up to expose the sensor and then back down. And okay. every time yeah. it does that. So don't you treat your camera back. like a fidget spinner then. Exactly. You know, you know, yeah. don't, <laughs> don't even play around with this it. Is, you know, don't take an extra this shot. Is starting to sound, this no. is starting to sound like when you have a conversation with David, AZ. Be like here, I can only spend 150, but no, this camera is like 7,500. Really <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they would be like that camera shit. Buy this one; it's like a yeah, hundred times one. more than what you wanted to spend. <laughs> this is a real good camera. It's only ten thousand. So he, so that's a good question, Dusty. So if you find one that you like, then you got to reach out. If he doesn't post it, you got to ask him how many shutter. Well, I would recommend. Right? He he wants something other than his phone. Well, uh, he might not have a flagship phone, so that's probably right. why he might have a cheap um, phone. Well, mm -hmm. I would recommend is get yourself just something that is in your budget. It doesn't matter if it zooms in as far as you would want it to zoom in. Mm -hmm. You get something that is within your budget. You carry it with you, and you use it. Uh, so hey, that's, that, that's the same reason I don't want to buy a 3d printer because that's a rabbit hole that is just going to suck money yeah. out of my pocket as we're yeah. staring at his <laughs> rabbit hole in the garage but, so that's why i'm yeah we you guys are uh but 
buy yourself a, if you want to start taking pictures buy yourself a camera that's within your budget carry it around with you and take pictures if you enjoy it if you have fun with it you're going to find the money to upgrade yeah but that's to tell you whether or not you enjoy the process of of doing it it's going to take good enough pictures that you can bring it into whatever photo editing software you use and adjust colors or whatever uh and and basically tinker with it and and you learn how to frame pictures you learn how to take and work within the constraints of the camera you're carrying jody says joe let me look at my camera and see what you can tell me about it yeah i think i've got three d10 bodies and one d5 and a couple of wet film eoses as well mm. I'm gonna go. Oh, you have so many up. cameras for. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, say it. All right, later. Say it. Later, DJ's later, DJ. out of trouble, buddy. I know you have a hard time with that. <laughs> okay, I'll later, drop to you. you too. You too. Okay. I'll see you. Uh, that, later, uh, Dusty. That's still a crap, crap phone. An iPhone 14. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Jeez. Compared Dusty, to. Carry, go ahead. carry the phone Here around. We got. He's trying to bite. He's trying to throw out some really nice bait for fishing, and I'm not taking the bait. <laughs> uh. No, I mean, if he has an iPhone 14, I mean, like he said, he just wants to have some fun with it. But mm. yeah, so. yeah. yeah you, might, you might run across something. You might even, uh, even yeah. on eBay, you might run across something because people sometimes don't have a clue what they know, what they've got. Yeah, you might run across yeah, that, that, that lens I bought something. from that woman that night for one hundred eighty-seven dollars. It was an eight hundred dollar lens, and it was like brand new. She had no yeah, clue what she in had. The last decade is going to be taking good enough pictures for you to play with. And the big deal is you got to realize the only thing, the only thing you got to have is, and you don't need it particular. It depends. Is, is a long lens. You need a, a at least a seventy one twenty lens, especially or, if you or want hundred millimeter lens. Yeah, hundred millimeter lens will work. You know, for wildlife too. It uh -huh. just you just got to get a little closer. You know. Yeah. You got to be so a little more wait for your chance. So you got to be bit. right up yeah. on the grizzly bear. Yeah, <laughs> talk about getting the bear claw. <laughs> Instead of 100 but, um, feet, he's got to be 10 feet from it. Because <laughs> you'll be surprised with me out there with a 300 millimeter. I'll take something that I could have used probably a 100 millimeter and got the same picture. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you're closer than you think. I do have one thing to say. Donald, Joe, what? don't ever get a job in a phone shop. You've literally just talked everybody on this panel and in the chat out of getting a freaking camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I can work. I can work in a phone shop. Up, well, camera yeah. shop. Oh yeah, not a camera shop. I'm, I'm like it. You're yeah. over the, the here. Phone shop hey. sell cameras as well. So well, I'm going to well, show you. I would, I'm going to show you what I you need. Out of phone, yeah. wouldn't I? <laughs> like I don't See, know. That's why. Yeah, I've been looking at, like I said, I've been looking at the Nikon, going to Nikon with the A9s, with the 9s, or X9s, something 9. Mm -hmm. I think it's X9. And I've looked at it, and, man, this thing is like, it almost brushes your teeth. You know what I mean? It's uh, It's got everything, everything you could think of. But I'd have to change all my lenses and everything else. And when I put it all together, I was telling Joey, one of the photographers the other night, I said, yeah, I put everything that I would get just as a basic setup, just to have three bodies and have the lenses I need. <laughs> and it was like $42,000. Yeah. And he just looked at me and started laughing. He said, yeah, I know. That's why I'm still on the sick. You better suck and fuck me for $42,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't make, I don't make no, that I thought, kind of money. I thought when you go to a out. different camera or like a different brand you can get adapters for your lenses right yeah i've, I've got my canon lenses on my sony with a uh, uh adapter yeah you can do that with an adapter but now, you're does gonna that lose mess a with... little bit of clear sometimes it doesn't sometimes. work though okay that's yeah. what i was gonna say does you lose especially with the new with with a lot of the new electronic lenses 
you got to pay a good chunk of money to get an adapter that will transfer the electronics over, and sometimes they don't transfer yeah, all it, of them. It'd be, it'd be, it'd suck if I get out there and my autofocus doesn't work right. Yeah. Uh, Waypoint says Joe has me wanting a T7. I don't even need a camera and drone shots. Put the, <laughs> his model in there. If you wanted you so to look you at see, that. I should be, I should be selling cameras, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of that camera, Joe? Joe, Joe the T7 is good. You? That's what I said. No, no, no. The Jody T7 put, would be a. It's five ninety nine. No. It'd be a good setup. It gives no, what Jody put like in Best Buy. Was Jody? He wanted. Jody's he wanted Nikon to see. Sixty. I'm not a Nikon guy. Let me go look it up. I don't know. I'm just looking. The only reason I'm looking at that new Nikon is because it's got all the bells and whistles that you could ever have on any is camera. That a, in it. That's a brand new vacuum, man. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like it's never been used. <laughs> looks clean as hell. Yep. We uh, yeah. we burned up it. another one and never needed it. We just bought this one finally because it's like, yeah, we could use another one out here. Just a little guy. It's isn't he cute? Well, black and Decker. it's just the smallest, cutest little shop vac you'd ever want. Is that a black and Decker? Um, or is that no, black something? It's a black diamond. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jody said the lens is a monster on that. On on the Nikon. I think that's what he's referring to. Yeah. It's an N60, right? Yeah, an N60 Quantare 7300 millimeter 1.4. Okay, because the N60s I'm coming up with. Uh, let me look at it real quick. Oh, wow. We don't even hear the vacuum. Nice. Yeah, now, according to what I'm finding, let's uh, so don't go. For N60, that looks like it's old technology, too, because you could buy, it's a digital, let's see. I think he already has one. That. Has he taken any pictures lately with it? What's it look like? What's it come out with? How's it look? Yeah, because he, he said that he wanted you to take a look at his camera to see what it is. Yeah, because I'm looking at an N60. Okay, that's a 35. Is that film or digital? Film camera was my brothers i don't know it's film you said it yeah. is old yeah it's a film camera so that'd be all right because it's going to give you the best technology at the time for film uh because i'm looking i'm looking at them on uh, ebay right now and i found one with a 35 80 millimeter uh f4 five six lens and it's 50 bucks but that's a film camera the bodies, the bodies are nine dollars or best offer. So that I don't know the year that was made, but that sounds like that's probably a um a eighties to a ninety camera. Well, I did but find a that, budget. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, back in that time, those were real good cameras. I was gonna say I did find a budget camera that might be good for Dusty. What do you think? That that work. Don't don't waste your money on that one. I'll just tell you. <laughs> Oh, no, come on. It even time. comes in 32 gigs. Come on. Gig. Yeah, that's, yeah, that'll really suck. That'd be enough. Yeah. Take all the little girly pictures you want. <laughs> uh, I got one right here. Let me see if it's still here. What, what about this camera? All right. Look at our waypoint. That's like one that you would buy at like Walmart for like a hundred bucks, hundred fifty. That's a Canon, and it works really well. It, is that I a power just, shot? It's just uh, one. It's like one of those little digital ones you buy at Walmart for about a hundred. It's, it's an Olympus fourteen megapixel. Oh, okay. Twenty four <laughs> times zoom. <laughs> Dusty, <laughs> kiss my ass, Justin. <laughs> like these. <laughs> yeah, that's like one that you would buy at Walmart for like fifty yeah. to two hundred bucks. Yeah, it looks very similar yeah, to the uh, Canon power shot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, Paul. It's got a nice little pop out lens. You, there. you, you want to see my first digital camera? Yeah, this is my first digital camera. Yeah, okay. Oh, that Guess one what looks the size? Old 
it's, it, it comes out to a, a, a like a six forty. I think it only does like a six forty digital. Yeah, that's what, what this does. Six forty digital. That's what happens yeah. when you take the blue pills, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And when you when you hit the the off button, it closes up in a nice hard. Why cup. why do you have that? I swear you got more shit you don't use. Else. I know it. I found this in the drawer. Yeah, I forgot I had this, but but I thought I was big shit with this man. I took a lot of family pictures, and the most you can blow them up is to maybe a five by seven. How many megapixels is that? Five point one is that what it maybe says? Maybe one. <laughs> what does it say on the front there? It says 5.1, 5.1 okay. megapixels. That's why I thought it said. <clears throat> but you better be shooting it perfect to get it, be able to do an 8 by 10 <laughs> But that was that was one of the first ones. But this had video and everything on it, and the video was good. You know, this was it was great. To, it stayed in my pocket whenever I was doing family stuff. And then this was the mm -hmm. one, the insignia that came out later. That was my daughter's. That I was mean, my see, like those type of cameras were really popular in the early 2000s. Those, yeah, those style, size, pictures. yeah, yeah. Those were like I said. Those are the ones you go to Walmart and you can pick up for fifty to two hundred bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> what is that? That's a pocket. Oh. <clears throat> so more shit he doesn't <throat> use. No, I don't use it. Oh, for fuck's sake! Little bugger. <laughs> Well, here's the question. Do any of you guys have an old camera laying around that would be decent that he could use that he could get for cheap? No, all mine, I sold all my old ones. Yeah. Yeah, because if I had the old Olympus, shoot, I probably gave it to him. But it's like I sold that one when I got when I went to the uh the new cannons. I got what I could for him when I could, you know. That's what I was saying. If anybody's got an old, an older one, but would still do good pictures and give them a deal on it, there you go. Well, you know, the bad part of it is, as you get older, Justin, you're going to understand. It's like I keep stuff because you never know if you're ever going to need it. And that's a bad habit to get in because I got you never know stuff all over the house. There you go. Uh, Dusty said he'll give you 150 for the pocket, Paul. <laughs> You're never gonna use the damn thing. <laughs> That's a good deal. I'll never use this again. It's still in my drawer. Okay, Dusty. What is that? Well, I, I don't uh, know how Cassio, much it costs to ship. It. Like like an organizer. It was like like an organizer Casio. Oh shit! Yeah, like an old Palm Pilot. Yeah. Now you got that is the original Pocket Two, Dusty. So, oh, it's the Pocket Two Pro. Oh, okay. the Pocket Two. There was a Pro. So it says oh. on the on the cover. Okay, yeah, so Pocket, Pocket Two. two there was a Pocket Two Pro Creator Pack. Okay. Had a few extras in it. Yeah, you you want to see how bad it is? Says on, I don't know much about it. I bought it on a whim. I shouldn't have bought it. Mm. Sixteen KB. Okay. I'm going to pop out. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Put about 20 Six. names in it. All right, later, Dominic. And it's got, kilobytes. it's got yeah. the stand that it goes on to charge if you want to charge on a stand. It's got the holder for uh, if you want to put other. It's got, it's, got, it's got a microphone in here. It's got all kinds of shit. Well, I mean, if you're not going to use it and he's being serious, there you go. Make yourself yeah, here's quick, a here's a uh, some quick money. A holder. Yeah, it's a little tripod. Looks like. Well, like I said, if he's serious and you're not using it, there's 150 bucks in your pocket. Because eventually, it's going to sit there so long that it's not going to be worth anything anymore. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, that's my, my drawer of electronics. Oh, Jesus. That's old as hell. I know. I bet it had, did it have a little stylus with it. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't have it. It's not in there. 
I've still oh, got stay-ons. Your... Oh, go ahead, Mark. Sorry. Uh, he's serious, so he wants to buy it. Go ahead, Mark. I didn't mean to cut you off. I said, I've still got two scions. Scions. Why does that sound familiar? They were a little foldable organizer, a bit like a very mini laptop almost. I think I know what you're talking about. The hell is that thing? Long time ago. Was that an MP3 RCA player? made this. That was like a little video. I would do oh, a video. Wow. Yeah. So Any I of those stand still work? The... Yeah, everything works. But what happens is it, it would sit here like this, and you just press the button in the back, and you can record the band playing at the school. You know, this was a this was a Pocket Three before there was a Pocket. Oh wow! And it still works. It took. Uh, well, let's see how old that is. Ten eighty, uh, Dusty. Uh, Pocket Pro Two. Let's see when that came out. I don't think that one's that one that old. Well, they're only on the Pocket Three now, so it was the last one. Yeah, I used to clip it to my side here and leave it on my side in case I needed video for something. Yeah, it can only came out in 2020, Dusty, so it's not that old. There you go, Captain Joe. You could make it big on YouTube. Oh, Captain you Joe's Museum. Well, I'm telling you. I'm off. Yeah, what I'm I need to do is to throw now. those away. Uh, Dusty said if you're serious, he'll pay shipping, too. Okay, uh, give give him my uh, phone number, will you? Yeah, I'll. I'll at my at I'll, my age, you know how that is. Yeah, I'll message him <laughs> your phone number. I think my first digital compact camera was the old Sony one, where the lens was rotatable on the top of it. It rotated all the way from the front to the back. Yeah. I got press passes in there and everything. And that drawer. That's my, my electronic junk girl. Your your electronic junk girl, what? Electronic junk drawer. Drunk drawer. Okay. I thought you said you had a junk girl there. I don't what? Drunk girl. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> The difference between under my desk and under your desk, Paul, is mine's a little organized. No, no, not here. <laughs> All right, Dusty, I sent you his phone, his phone number and messenger, along with Joe. So Tom Austin a brothel again? Oh, yeah. Didn't hear my information. Did I? Did I tell you you could share my information? I don't yeah. have your phone number. I shared your I don't your care. Facebook link for him. Yeah, why? Did I tell you you could do that? I asked you earlier. You never answered me. But you were oh. being so helpful, I didn't think it was a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but now you got Donald's and Joe's and Facebook link and Paul's number in your messenger. Yes, yeah, I, I actually sent him a friend's request the other day. I wanted to find out what Ducky uh, was talking about. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I Yeah. Yeah, so get on there and... Uh, Except Joe's friend request because he was going to look at that uh, 3D printed duck for you. I, I forgot all about that. Oh, I like that. I think it was this one, huh? Yeah, I'm not duck. sure if it was that one or if it was the one with the middle finger in the middle. I'm not sure which one he wanted. Oh, he's got the, that's got the middle finger on it. Yeah, but there's one yeah, where like the middle one, finger so. is like the face part. Oh, yeah. okay. Where the whole thing's a, a middle finger. You like the big one. So Dusty said he'll get up with you tomorrow about it, Paul. Okay, Dusty. The best thing to do is to call and leave me a message and I'll call you back. 
because I get so much junk mail or junk phone calls. If I don't recognize the phone number, I don't answer it. <laughs> well, if it says it's from Florida on there, then you'll know it's him. Oh, I get, sometimes, jump, I get sometimes it will Florida too. Right. Sometimes they'll tell you what state they're calling from. So if it happens to be a Florida number, I would answer. Worst case scenario, just hang up on it. <laughs> I just I just erased 48 junk mail, junk phone calls <clears throat> off my uh phone well, today. Your voicemail? Yeah. Okay. We're not so bad over here. If it's junk calls, they don't usually leave a voicemail. It's normally an auto dialer that gives up after four rings. Well, what they do is is I get this. Uh, oh, they were calling, and and you're at, you're you're in line to get this, or you should have that, or you've just been in the hospital, so you need this. Get the hell out of here! Oh, Dusty wanted <laughs> the big one where the finger was in the face. That's the one he was looking at. Yeah. Alt. The big one with the finger in the face. Oh, yeah. Paul, just let us know what you think about these phone calls. Yeah, yeah I got to think about that one because that one's kind of I mean, of do I stuff. have an opinion on them, David? Yeah. <laughs> well, you could always do the smaller one, too, if that's if it's easier. Plus, yeah, that's that going to be a, me, that's a lot more took filling. Me a hell of a lot to print, did it didn't match up. <laughs> it didn't match? <laughs> it, well, I split it down the middle and I, just, and I printed it. And it, it's a little off. I don't know why uh, it was a little off. I didn't do anything. It's possible maybe you <laughs> accidentally upsized one side just a tad or something. That's what I'm thinking, it. but it works. It works where it's at. It's good for what uh, it yeah, does. It gets, it gets your point across to me. <laughs> and, and you see, on a, on, a, on a perfect day right now, I'll take off and go out by the lakefront and get the sunset. <laughs> Because we cleared up, we're we're clear now. Got sunshine and everything. Oh, uh, it's snowing dude. here, bro. If I could come into Paul's house for like a week, dude, I could put so much shit on Facebook Marketplace. You'd have to bring a money. bring a big truck because I got so much. Dude, shit. I would make you so much money on Facebook Marketplace. Oh hell no, I'd just put on there. Come over, we're having a uh, a uh, what is those sales sale. where you have people come through the house and just buy up everything? Yeah, state a sale. State sale. That's what Paul needs. You just put you put a sticker on everything that's not for sale, and then you let them buy everything else. <laughs> I could see Paul going round uh, taking the stickers off, but I get the panini maker. <laughs> <laughs> I want the yeah, panini maker. He'd be taking maker. the stickers off. Dusty's there going round putting stickers stickers on things for sale, and Paul's going round taking them off. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big oh. one. It's hard to print, not the little ones, Dusty. Because he had to print it in two pieces because it was so big. <clears throat> you remember the uh, Comedy Central clip of uh, when Donald Trump won't leave office and they, uh, they wheeled him out with his table, wheeled him into the truck? That'd be Paul. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking my stuff. <laughs> Honestly, man, you, you'd probably make some money if you did that. You could probably make a few thousand dollars in a day just doing that. Get, well, when you come in the clutter, trust me, if I had the extra money to fly up there, I would. <laughs> in a couple of weeks' time, you got Paul's gonna go live in his gold gold TV <laughs> and gold glasses and everything. I made so much money. <laughs> come in with the fucking grill on. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Paul Wall and shit. <laughs> Huh. Comes pulling up into his driveway in a new Corvette. <laughs> I've got a snow belt blower out in the garage. It's almost like new. It's so hard to move, maneuver around. I don't use it. It just sits there. That's what I'm yeah. saying, dude. You could have a large ass yard sale one day and just get rid of a shit ton of stuff. Yep. That's what I should do. And most of it oh, run you in the box. That's all I'm saying, Mark. Like, it, it, mm -hmm. that's because you you can do kind of an estate sale thing, and you just let so many people in at a time, and you just say, "Yeah, this isn't for sale, but that is." You just let them go through. 
<clears throat> Paul's got a bunch of new appliances behind the TV over there. If I'm not back, yeah, mm -hmm. send me all your email addresses for the, and I'll send you a visiting card so you can come and visit me in prison for mur when I get done for Laura's murder. <laughs> Sarah said uh... she's going to handle Paul's estate sale. <laughs> I have a feeling if you go in there trying to mess with Laura, you're going to lose your nuts. So go ahead and try it. <laughs> look at that brand new. Yeah, look at that snowblower. Yeah, yeah big do boy it, too. Do it. How much? How much is one of those brand new? Twelve hundred, I think. Twelve or fourteen hundred. Fuck, dude, that'd be easy. Five hundred bucks right there, cash. Uh, get eight for it. You get eight for it. Oh, you can put it for eight. Easy. Let them talk you down a hundred or so. Thank you. Look, even the truck disappeared. Well, that's because it. <laughs> <Cameron didn't laughs> I already sold that, Tim. It's gone. <laughs> oh, okay. David <laughs> Copperfield. The fucking truck was there and then it was gone. I was, like, what the fuck? I, I was looking to see what I was drinking. <laughs> yeah. Like, Damn. what's in this water? Fuck, you know. Man, is the uh, brothel that far away from down south? <laughs> no, he's got to walk 35 miles to get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he gets to the brothel, you'll see, him. you'll see him turn off his camera, then collect all the money, and then come back out again. Yeah. <laughs> turn it off. So he's going to yeah. do, he's going to get his money. Yeah. To get his share. You hear him in there. Gator, yeah. Gators bitches better be wearing jimmies. <laughs> Walking in and see tax time. <laughs> Pay it up. Turn off the camera so he can put his, uh, what is it, a fedora? Fedora? Uh, uh, yeah, fedora. <laughs> yeah, with a feather. <laughs> I love the movie The Other Guys He's like dude you were a pimp He goes no I wasn't He goes yes you were you were a pimp <laughs> uh, dude. Uh, Is that Oh is that outside now That's outside yeah. right now oh, Yeah you got a little little dusting Not too bad Well I've already swept this twice yeah, It's not that much snow It's just a little slight dusting For your area Looks like Tim in the eighties. Thirty-two Ooh, degrees. <laughs> looks like Tim. Yeah, it looks like Tim's yeah. mirror in the eighties. <laughs> it was sixty-eight day. right now. I'm gonna go down to forty-two tonight, and then tomorrow it's gonna go up to I think fifty, and then it's gonna be thirty-one Tuesday morning. Oh yeah. Mike so hopefully that's that our last little phone. spurt. It's starting to get warm here. The last couple of days has been in the 90s. Yeah, shoot. Two days ago, we were 78. This might be the last little cold spell we get. But then, you say, well, really we, then, then the summer <laughs> comes in, you say, where's that cold? Sarah, Sarah when the weather like changes, seven. you're always welcome to come and do what you're saying you're going to do. With showers. Money, money, money. Money, money. Well, my son's been prepping meals for his week. So he's getting back to his useless old his other's old self. Because he went and got protein and I think he's not taking the, the other stuff anymore. The steroids? I he stopped. I hope not. Yeah. I think he stopped. Because he went and bought protein and stuff like this to work out. And, good. Uh, tell him to get a meat. Might, tell be, him to get a might be a good thing. Tell him, tell him to get amino acids. They work just the same. Oh, he's got all that. Take longer, longer time. But he went and got all his meal prep stuff, and he's prepping all his meals. And he had to go run and get some more containers because he's doing like fourteen of them. That'll give him seven days. So now he's out of my way, so I can go eat. I got rice cooking. And I got I got a turkey breast from uh, Christmas that was in my freezer that been vacuum sealed. So that's full of gravy. It's going to be turkey gravy, rice with butter beans. Get tonight. 
David, are you still with us? I'm going to have a steak. No, steak and tater. Steak and taters. Now, how much yep. do the kitty does the kitty cat get? She has her own food. You don't share a little, just a little smidge? No. No. Wow. Nope. Nope. Oh, so you don't love her? I, I, I That's okay. I you don't love her. Food. That's okay. Uh huh. She would share her yep. food with you. I wish I would have never started that with the dogs. I wish I'd never. And started. when you finish, just let her lick the plate. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no wonder she's attacking his legs. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. Oh, she's not oh, she's not she, she looks at those little hungry. sticks of his and calls legs, and they say, "There's not much meat on the bone, but I'll take oh, it." Yeah. Yeah. He has two cans of food every day. Yeah, that's probably plenty for her. I don't. I've never had a cat, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, I got her this new food now. She loves it. Now, I'm an extra crazy. cat man. I guess they're only very little cans. Yeah, they're not that She she doesn't like the canned food, so that's why I've been getting these pouches. She likes some pouches are better. The portion size is about right. Yeah, yeah. The cans are too much for one Peter. Oh yeah. Uh, Full size tin of cat food will last her two or three days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's cool. Yeah. East Coast had uh, homemade tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner tonight. Yeah. Grilled cheese. I don't like tomato yeah. soup, but I'll to eat the grilled cheese. I like tomato soup and grilled cheese and dip it, dip it in the tomato. Yeah. yeah, I had a tomato soup laced with black pepper. Oh, yeah, very good. One soup I never really liked. We are going to be doing. Uh, my wife is fixing uh, Philly cheesesteaks tonight. Oh, there you Ooh. go. And she told me, she says it's going to be more vegetables than meat, and I'm like, I don't care. I could just have onions and peppers on a sandwich. Onion peppers and mushrooms on a sandwich. Yeah, that's good for me. I love Philly cheesesteaks. Donald's probably Donald sounds like a pretty easy guy to cook for. Just crumple yeah, up I, some crackers and throw it in the fry pan, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I like veggies. Me too. I didn't say I'd eat crackers. Well, you gotta have some crunch with it, don't you? Vegetables, crunch, cauliflower, cauliflower with a good cheese sauce, broccoli, good cheese sauce, yeah, rope parsnips, parsnips, yeah, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprout, sauteed and butter. <laughs> Right. I didn't realize I was muted. I actually said, oh. yeah, vegetables do crunch when Laura cooks them. <laughs> vegetable, I like vegetables that crunch. He means burnt, not raw. But not oh. Peaches <laughs> crunch. Okay, yeah, I wasn't means... thinking burnt. <laughs> Cauliflower, cauliflower roll with uh, ranch dressing. Yeah. Brussels sprouts are nice if you roast them with horse chestnuts. Mm. Brussels sprouts are fine anytime. Nice. Brussels sprouts. Even better when you finished eating them. Brussels sprouts and uh, bacon grease. Little bits of bacon. Why are you mm. ruining it? <laughs> Some good shit right there, boy. Mm -hmm. He 
Who's talking in the background? Oh, that was a kid. Well, my cat's now decided it's time to come in, have something to eat, and go upstairs and lie down. Right. Is that a hard day's work? Uh -huh. Looking clean. Yep, looks better. It needs a little more wire brush. Throw on some gloves and do some manual scrubbing on it, but... Why does the carpet do that for it? do that for a couple hours, and then I gotta put the por on it. Carpet should be here Thursday. All right. By Thursday, I should have the por in done. I should have the gas tank hooked up, maybe even the hood back on. But I kind of want to wait until I put the carpet back in before I put the hood in because it's just gonna be that much easier to work inside the body. Sure. There. But, yep. yeah, this is the stuff I'm going to be using, POR-15. Oh, okay. It's yep. a permanent seal. It's a permanent seal around it. it yeah. But you have to let that dry overnight, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll, it, that'll take probably a couple coats. You said you're putting it down with Velcro? The carpet, yes. Yeah. I'll just put Velcro down along the edges here. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, it needs bit. a it needs a little more scrubbing. But I think if I, you look, that surface rust on the pan here, they had they had welded in a new section underneath the seat, so it looks like it had rusted out here before. But it's still pretty solid. And up here, uh, I don't know if you can see under there, it, it's pretty solid. It's got a little bit, but yeah, it'll last long enough. Eventually, I might have to cut the entire thing out and then put in some. Uh, they, they sell the uh, fiberglass floor pans where you take the body off. You go ahead and cut the entire floor pan out and drop in a new fiberglass floor pan. Yeah. Have you got any of that stuff that you paint on and it turns the rust into a black um, rather than iron oxide? It's another form yes. of iron. Yes. That works well. That's what I'm pretty sure that's what this uh, POR is because you're supposed to paint it directly on the rust. Yeah. It cha changes it from iron oxide into a different. Is it iron carbonate or something? Mm hmm And that's the first thin coat that you put on, then you put another coat on top of that. And yeah. You rough it up, and then you put another coat on, and it bonds to that. So hopefully that will take care of it from the top side, the bottom side. Who knows? But I don't, I don't count on this uh, buggy lasting forever. It just has to outlast me. Hmm. I think I might be tempted to put a line of Velcro either side of the tunnel as well to stop the carpet walking. Yep. So who's right, it, who, else, who else is on tonight? I think Wedge, Wedge and Big's on, on in a bit and Uncle then Bill. Uncle Bill in it. Is Wedge and Big on at 8 and Uncle Bill at 10? Yeah. Okay. Wedge and Big, go, Wedge and Big goes live in 30. I, whoever's talking, I can't hardly hear him. David. Wedge and Big goes live in 30. 30 minutes. Okay, 8 o'clock. Okay. And then Uncle Bill at 10, right? Yeah. David? Okay. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it and give you guys a break between now and Wedge and Big. Give you a yeah, chance I'm to gonna... get a potty break in or whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just about to kick the shit out of my computer. Okay. <laughs> Kicking the shit out of your computer.
<laughs> Every time I, I click a link, it opens fucking hundreds of pages. Yeah, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I got uh, Xfinity Comcast going to be here figuring out why the hell my inter not internet, my internet's working. It's my Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Somebody's getting good. What are you getting there? Turkey, turkey oh, breast, butter, beans, oh, and rice. Turkey oh, breast, oh, butter, beans, rice, and gravy. Yeah, a little gravy on it. Oh, wow. I got to go get the gravy. That is good. Good, good. Paul, if you're not live at nine, I'll go live until you come on. Okay, sounds good. Like I say, it's 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 it's. You know, I'm, I'm going to be tied up. I think if you if you plan, you and Justin maybe cover at nine. Um, Don't worry. If you've got a woman coming around to tie you up at night, eight o'clock in the morning, that's fine with us. <laughs> We're fine with that. <laughs> Kill them. Kill yeah. Them. yeah. We know you've chatted them nurses up. Dominatrix. <laughs> one of us will okay sounds good I, I appreciate everything you guys do for me and and always backing me up and justin tim mark white all right. dominic all right, joe. joe see y'all later david we'll see all of you again tomorrow sometime see you in the morning see you bye for now.